everybody, and welcome to Bug Bear's Basement. And here on Bug Bear's Basement today, we're going to be doing something uh, a, a lot of fun, I think. Uh, it, it, we're LARPing. Playing, we're, well, LARPing. I don't know about LARPing, but uh, uh, we're most... I'm going to be LARPing. Okay, well, you LARP. You LARP away. Yeah, uh, but, I will. Um, we're going to be playing a board game, guys. Uh, and, uh, well, like we did last week, we got this board game simulator we're all uh, all abuzz about. Uh, but uh, this game we're playing here is called Lords of Waterdeep. And we're going to get to that in a little bit, of course. Uh, but first thing, we want to remind you about all our links. Please check those things out. Join F Fanspeak uh, on Facebook if you haven't. Uh, but uh, this is uh, the game we're going to be playing today. is called Lords of Waterdeep. And uh, it's like... I don't know. It's probably my favorite board game I have. I love this game a lot. I mean, like I said, of all time, in, of, of, of all time. I, I mean, honestly, of all time. Uh, I love this game a lot, and hopefully, you guys will enjoy it too. And we're gonna get to that in a minute, but um, of course, I want to say hello over here. We have Draken in the uh, in the chat. He says hello. I'm not the first, uh, but he's uh, planning on stabbing Joshua Hughes, who is our favorite troll, who is the first, uh, because he wants to take Chester's firstness. <laughs> Mm. He how probably deserves to be stabbed. Yeah, it's probably true, but I don't know about taking Chester's firstness. I, I'm, Chester's I'm a little, firstness. A little concerned. About I think that. that also involves stabbing Chester, if it you know might. what I'm saying. <laughs> 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 All right, Draken continues. Says, "I'll be launching my Indiegogo soon, but some people have yelled at me that my Indiegogo preview does a disservice to my actual comic content. So I need to figure out how to fix it, dude." Please do fix it. And if you have any questions from any of us, we'd love to give you an opinion and help out if we can, dude. Uh, mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. why we're here. I mean, we have a huge it's what resource. we do. It is what we, we are. Do. We have not been kind to Indie Cron uh, Indiegogos. We've been brutally honest. Yeah, but we want to help, though. We we absolutely yeah, absolutely. Help. And Dennis Brock wants to know what LARPing is. Well, I don't know. Maybe you should explain that, Booster. Live action role playing. Well, I'm not really live action role playing because I'm here behind the camera. But I want to do a voice this whole time while I accept quests. Yeah. Ah! Ah. Uh, Valen is here. It says, Hail Raven. And uh, Draken wants Joshua to know that he can stab anyone he wants at any time. You go right ahead and with your stabbing, Dragon. Uh, Nick W is in here. He says hi. Well, hello to you, sir. Uh, LARPing uh, and uh, Dragon goes here and explains the LARPing. Uh, Dave is in here. Booster is very good at getting eaten by zombies. <laughs> I, that just seems appropriately true. Mm -hmm. I do. Do you fear the zombie booster? I do. I've been uh, I've been playing Resident Evil 2 uh, on my friend's channel. His channel is Matty Cans. With a Z at the end, it's it's a dumb name, and I give him crap for it. But he's my flatmate, and I play Resident Evil 2 with him. And we've been having a lot of fun. And if I do say so myself, this video is actually quite funny. That's cool, dude. Yeah, no, uh, I'm always searching around the YouTubes, especially in the amongst our community people, and there's a lot of really cool content and funny stuff. I actually got a, I kind of lost a bunch of time doing it, but uh, I got a chance mm -hmm. to be on uh, 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 Weaponized Nerd Rages uh, uh, ah, yes. live yesterday. Um, that was really cool. He's a great guy. He is cool, dude. I had a lot of fun doing that. That mm -hmm. was just a bunch of dudes chatting about stuff. We were talking about yeah. Batman and uh, and who do we think could play Batman or the um, uh, the the DC movie uh, that's coming out there from that lady who made Wrinkle in Time. What is it? The um, what are they calling that one? It's got a it's got what, uh, New Gods. Side. Yeah, the New Gods. Is that what the yeah. title is though? Uh, New Gods. I don't know about that just yet. We'll see. Uh, Did you guys ever come to a consensus for who should be Batman? Like a decision? Or were you just kind of shooting the shit? Well, it didn't really matter because while we were talking about it, the news came out uh, that the dude who played the, the the guy in Twilight and he was in that um, that S and M movie um, Fifty Shades or whatever that dude, the kind of mm -hmm. sleepy eyed guy, has been kind of heavily rumored to be the next Batman. So. They no we speaking so it kind of killed it and i guess we discussed um what what the was that is that a good choice and uh but, but it was a lot of fun i enjoyed it but I oh you're not talking about that rabbit robert pettison poofter right eh? yeah 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 that's it that's who it is yeah robert pettison. oh no <laughs> oh he looks like such a queer he does he does and it looks like john dillard is accusing us of pff, gayness so thanks john oh gay what what does he think is gay? My I my lapping voice. It might be. 
It might be. Uh, Draken says, Chester, I'll drop you uh, a, a line later on Twitter. Uh, get your feedback on myself. Dude, I'd be happy to. I've been helping a lot of people the best I can. Of course, I am in the middle of the uh, Tales from Beyond the Gate project. And there's, oh, 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 boy, there's a lot of work in doing an Indiegogo, guys. Understand that before you undertake it. It's a lot of work. Uh, oh, yeah, I've been putting all I can into our Indiegogo project, Tales from Beyond the Gate, which I'm a part of, Chester. You are. You are a stretch goal. Yeah. You're like an official stretch Absolutely. goal, even. Yeah, I'm a, I'm all sweated out from all the hard work I've been doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Joshua Hughes says it was kind of boring. They should have invited Booster uh, on instead. I'm sure is what he wants to say. You're probably right. <laughs> Booster is more entertaining. Than me. I, I, I had a lot of fun uh, heckling at you guys and uh, giving yeah. you crappy suggestions. I actually kind of thought Charlie Cox would have, would be a cool Batman, maybe. maybe. But no one liked my Ryan Gosling suggestion. I. I uh, ever since I saw Drive, though, I think Ryan Gosling should just play oh, everything. Stop. stop! Oh, he's so pretty. We have we have to take a moment. Beowulf is amongst us. He must <gasps> have finished his tests, which I'm hoping he's here to tell us he had success on those tests because we oh. like the sexy uh, Australian much better than this greasy uh, uh, New Zealander. Um, oh, uh, hold on a second. you are too late, Beowulf. I haven't destroyed myself within this show. I have taken your place and you shan't have it back. <laughs> my, my, my. Uh, Beowulf says, hey, lads, want to drop by and say I'm still alive. Unfortunately, I can't stay. Just want to drop by and make booster feel inadequate <laughs> you can't do that i am too powerful now you i'll be listening on and long. off in the background whilst working cool dude now uh if you guys didn't know of course beowulf is uh, one of the founders here at fanspeak uh but he is in the middle of uh taking classes and studying uh, to get a license uh for his new career and we wish him all the best of luck and hope things go really well but it sounds like he had a spot to come in and say hi to us and uh, just let us know how that's going dude we want to uh uh Keep abreast of your updates and uh, wish you success, man. I'm glad you're not dead. Yeah, me too. <laughs> of course, we're joking. It's actually nice to have the uh, uh, Beowulf and Booster together. You guys work off each other uh, beautifully, actually. Absolutely, and his voice does make me feel inadequate. His is re it's ridiculously sexy. He does. He's got yeah. that sexy yeah. South African uh, deep oh, voice. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's lucky he didn't get that Australian accent. Whew. That's true. They they do kind of sound uh, a, a little odd. Oh yeah, bro. He's your fire, <laughs> All right. I love you, Rosie. Don't hate me. <laughs> <laughs> or Perth Comics, or what have you. Uh, we get a lot of Australians in here. Um, uh, Beowulf continues. Says almost finished last month, and I'm free. Sweet dude. Uh, good luck to you, man. All right, well, we're uh, sitting here and uh, just chatting. Let's get to our news because uh, we're waiting for Thundero to come and join us. He's going to be our third player today, and we're going to get into Lord Lords of Water Deep. But we want to kill a little bit of time here by uh, talking about some stories, as usual, and, uh, you know, news. Let me come over here and share with Booster. And, show me uh, the news, just to show it to me. I shall. I shall. All right, now the first one here is, uh, you know, as you would expect, but uh, bounding into comics here, and uh, ooh, it's it's that sexy, expressive face. Oh, oh, what what does what does your Brie Larson senses say, Sir Chester? It says Brie Larson, Captain Marvel, is my form of activism. That's just <clears throat> lots of confidence oh. on this movie. Oh lots man, of confidence. oh oh, Captain I just Marvel is her my activism. Mouth Jeez. We don't want activism, Miss Larson. We want fun. Popcorn fun. It's a Marvel movie. I don't want bloody activism in my Marvel movie. Goodness me. We didn't, that, why do you think people liked Wonder Woman? It was just your generic superhero fist. Uh, it just happened to have a female lead. No one, no one cared about that. Oh, oh, my God. Now, I will say one thing, though. Uh, I see Thunder in the chat. Thunder, get over here with us, man. You need to get, yeah, get on in there. there. Come on now. Get, come on now. And you need to join. Uh, get on the uh, tabletop uh, simulator too, uh, Booster, if you could take care of back channels and make sure he gets on the uh, right site with us. I'll go ahead and read this. 
Actress B. Larson describes her role as Carol Danvers, a.k.a. Captain Marvel, in the Marvel Sue's upcoming Captain Marvel film as her form of activism. Well, they certainly used a lot of C's in that. Uh, Larson spoke with Marvel's vice president of content and yeah, character I, development. I'm certainly Sana. thinking of uh, one C word. Yes, well, so was I. Uh, Sana Amina. Oh, well, well, I thought she was just, what is she now? She's the p- vice president of content <laughs> There's that C and word again. development. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, and of course, we all know she's actually the boss because CB Sabalski is major, major, major P whipped. Um, nevertheless, mm-hmm. nothing uh, useless. Mm-hmm. Or an article in In Style about her upcoming role as Captain Marvel. Well, isn't that great? Marvel has an actual article about In Style because, you know, when you're talking about comic books, we want to talk about fashion at the same time. I mean, you know, they just go hand in hand and everything like that. Um, but uh, let's see here. Amanat was the editor for Marvel's Miss Marvel series, which introduced Kamala Khan. It has nothing at all to do with Captain and Marvel at all. But okay, that's, that's good. But she's I mean she is Miss Marvel. And that's like a Marvel. Yeah, well and that's a, you know, know, no, you know, it means nothing. Yeah. It means nothing, yeah, yeah. Um, she didn't apologize for her, herself. I felt like that was a really valuable trait because she is incredibly flawed and makes a lot of mistakes and has to take ask to atone for them and that is super valuable. She's not ever shrinking herself down. I, I'm sorry. She has to atone for them, but she doesn't apologize for herself. Mm-hmm. Once again, C word. <laughs> yes, that's <laughs> not how that works. That's not how it works at all, Thunder Arrow, man. But it, it's but what a ridiculous little statement we're looking at here. She didn't apologize for herself. I felt like that was a really valuable trait because she is incredibly flawed. Why is she incredibly flawed? For what purpose does she need to be? She's a superhero. She's a a top-end Air Force pilot. She works for S.W.O.R.D. She is not an incredibly flawed person. As a matter of fact, she's usually, before these SJWs came along, pretty pretty put-together type of individual. Um, So, you know, what are you talking about here? Uh, she continued, she said the movie was the biggest and best opportunity I could ever ask for. It was like my superpower. This could be my form of activism, doing a film that can play all over the world and be in more places than I can be physically. Uh, yeah, that's kind of the point. Uh, Larson described her emotions when she went into her first fitting. I it, it was very weirdly emotional. I just kept thinking, oh my God, am I going to be a Disneyland character? Well, I think it would probably be another actress who gets paid a lot less than you. Uh, but, um, yeah, I'm glad you're emotional about putting on your clothing. Uh, she would go on to compare her role as Captain Marvel and the upcoming film to Indiana Jones. Oh, do tell. Oh do my tell. I remember losing my mind. Well, this girl is just all over the place with emotional uh, feelings and stuff. I wonder why it doesn't show up on her face. It's weird. <laughs> I bet you she said all of this without making a single expression. <laughs> yes, I am reading it wrong. I'm being very emotional, and I should be. I remember losing my mind. She recalls that the first thing in the end. She continues. Me, I boop. Can think of a female equivalent. There was Sigourney Weaver in Alien, of course, but there wasn't enough of the spectrum of confidence and sass, and I little bit of mess. Just a mix of everything. Women weren't allowed to do that. Oh my God. <laughs> well, it would, it's not allowed to go anywhere but it's like oh please mister could i could i please be a little sassy just but the rich went no dude we had get, get out of here. are you telling me <laughs> are you telling me scarlet wasn't sassy in casablanca really how far do we have to go back to find a female who wasn't sassy oh that's right since the beginning Sassiness in a female you character tell. is kind of normal. Matter of fact, wouldn't that be what you should be calling feminist? Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, what would they call it? Uh, anti-female, because it's sassy. You can tell female. these uh, these uh, these supposed you know starlets or whatever you want to call them haven't really watched a lot of old movies because mm-hmm. that was kind of women's character. Yeah, was sassy. Exactly. Like, most of the lead women, that's what they were. They were look at Lois Lane for crying out loud. Her entire character is she's full sass. of sass and spunk. Yeah. Yeah, she's like my, she's like everyone's favorite bitch. That's Lois Lane. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, no, I mean, they, they, you see this across the board. You see it with black actors. Uh, we're starting to see a little bit from Asian actors and stuff like that. It's really silly, guys. Just go back and do a little bit of research into the career you're making and understand what has happened before you. We've had plenty of female characters who were sassy and in charge, bosses, tough. We've had plenty of black characters doing all kinds of the same things too, guys. You're just being, you're showing your ignorance and you're being an ass, to be honest because you're not actually paying attention to what has come before. But then again, as we've noticed with progressive politics, uh, they really enjoy rewriting history the best they can, don't they? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She is full of spunk. You're right, Dragon. Um, Evans told her to imagine... uh, Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Brie Larson also discussed uh, what it's like to see her likeness on toys and other merchandise, and how she sought out help from Captain America's... uh, I should have an S on there, guys. Uh, Chris Evans on how to deal with the idea of becoming a global icon. Because that's going to happen. Evans told her to imagine <laughs> that it was <laughs> Somebody at this... Disney really set her up for a downfall. Dude, they did, <laughs> dude. They did. Uh, Evans told, uh, told her to imagine that it was happening to someone else. I thought that's what they usually say during rapes. Mm. Oh, whoa. Oh. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that was dark. I do apologize for that, but come on, come on. It's uh, else. It's just it's that, else. that ruined my day. <laughs> and Larson seems to have taken that to heart as she describes seeing a toy with her likeness. What kind of toy? Did it vibrate? I wonder. Uh, I don't think. <laughs> look, that's me. I think. Oh, she that's his odd. mind's in the bloody gutter. <laughs> well, well, this this girl pisses me off, dude. Uh, while she thinks seeing the likeness of herself on a toy is odd, I, I think someone should make a meme with Brie Larson on a vibrator, dude. That would be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Get that done, Chad. Oh, Get no. it done. No, oh. no. Chester's full of terrible ideas. She, she would be a horrible vibrator. She has absolutely no emotion. She gives no she, emotions. Just make sure you put down at the bottom and say like, batteries not. Included. Yeah, do you like uh, that, baby? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah she does want to take someone of danvers attitude and incorporate it into her own personality really okay i want if because if you did that that'd probably be better for you i want to hold on to the cockiness and the sense of ownership well cockiness does apply uh because i do believe in my abilities and i do value myself and i do know that i'm strong and i do know that i can do a lot of things that people don't think i can do self-validation the wave of the future mm. Well, this goes on and on and on. I could continue to read it, but we all know it's just a a big pile of tripe. Uh, because uh, you are so full of yourself, little lady. So full of yourself. Oh, my goodness. All right. Um, now, do I want to cover these other ones? Uh, this one right here, Army Hamber disco- discusses white privilege and Stan Lee backlash in new interview. Uh, oh, I, I oh someone gave him a bloody white privilege uh, well, script, let's, didn't let's, they? Let me... Let me read, just read this one little thing and we'll move away from it because uh, I don't want to take the time with it. Uh, there are white people and... who exercise their white privilege with or without knowing it. And I would be foolish to sit here and say, well, that has nothing to do with my career. I can't sit here and say that. But also, people must be aware of the work uh, ethic it takes. I get it. Guys like me have to have got a lot from being guys like me. Even if white privilege does have any, doesn't, does have anything to do with it, huh? Uh, there is a lot of work I put into this. So he's basically saying, yeah, okay, okay, white privilege is a thing, but I work really hard, you know? You know? So Stupid. W- pick one. Well, and you just know, to the, think I was uh, saying he should be Batman. Just when I was thinking that. Uh, well, I don't. He's 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 uh, playing politic here. He's dodging balls is what he's doing. I don't blame him maybe, for it. Uh, maybe he's a bit too baby-faced for Batman. Click the, click the in style link. I'm not doing it, Nick. I'm not. I'm not. That's porn. It's definitely porn. Um, uh, Ooh, but... I'm Googling that. <laughs> uh, but here's the thing. Uh, it makes me laugh because That's they talk about porn. white privilege. And of course they talk about white male <sighs> privilege, right? But here's the thing. We white people, white dudes particularly, we do have a privilege. You want to hear what it is? We grew up 
we knowing we're, by the time we're in high school, we're going out into the world, make our, making ourselves an adult and find our way in, into the world as everyone has to do. We know right from the get, there is nobody to help us. There's no special organizations. There's no free money. There's no support groups. There's nothing. There's not a thing that's going to help you as a white heterosexual dude. Not one thing. Right? Therefore, we know that coming out the gate. So we have to prepare ourselves to do it ourselves. That is our privilege, knowing that there is no one who's going to help us. And matter of fact, there's a lot of obstacles in our way, to be fair. So in truth, the most unprivileged thing you can be is a white heterosexual man. You assholes. Correct. Thank you. But don't you know that we're handed everything on a pedestal as soon as we're born? They come along as like, here is your house and your money. And here is all the things you'll ever need. And you know what? Here is our complimentary mint. Mr. White Man, have a good life, sir. Yeah. But, you know, wait, wait, I don't that blame him. for you, Booster? <laughs> you know, something did. Oh, all right. He, he's, he well, I, I didn't get my I'm complimentary not. mint. Dude. Ah. I'm being forced to do something I don't want to do. I'm going to do it anyway. What are they doing? What are they, what are they making you do? Ask me to click something. I'm going to... I'm going to oh, God. Okay. okay. Hey, I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. <laughs> Oof. Oh, what? What, what, Oof. what in the... Oof. Oh, even then she doesn't look bangable. Yeah. <laughs> Brie Larson is ready to kick well, some Sana, ass. Sana Anima? She's, she's not, though. That, that is not a good outfit for such things. At all. Did you, no, did you that see that? No, no ass kicking here. Tell him, Buzz. Me, yeah, did you see who wrote that article? I Sana Amanat. Yes, we know. They, they already said that. We knew that already. But, 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 oh, look at oh, no. those cheeks. Uh, Something's wrong. Something's look. wrong. I think she has hives. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, look. Ooh, ooh, I'm so sexy in my, in my purple shoes. Mysterious. She's really As a cockatiel. It, even, even that bird knows something's wrong. <laughs> Is it human? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm kind of surprised she doesn't really. She's not really pulling these fashions off. Um, it's. Uh, I kind of would expect her to actually. I mean, she is supposed to be a starlet. Uh, maybe they just picked the wrong clothing for her. Are we, are we just a little bit too biased against her? Could that no, be no, a factor? No, no. This one's good. No. This one's good. This works for her. This works for her. Well, that was a nice. Well, that was a bird. Well, that was a nice bird. It is a nice. Look bird. at a bird. This one works bird. though. This is a good one. Give me the bird. Uh, no, no. No, no human should ever wear this. No. What? Don't, no. Oh my god. Well, luckily no slogan? human is, so it kind of works out. <laughs> this kind of works. Okay, this kind of works. I kind of got something with the, those kind of gloves. I don't know what it is. They're kind of sexy. My problem really with hers are, is her jawline. She has the manliest jawline I've ever seen on. Oh her yeah. And oh, she's yeah, kind brutal. of scrawny too. She's got a giant head and little shoulders. It, it's a, but it's she's a female. They usually can get away with that. Um, you know, but uh, when you have an action here, you need you want to have a woman who's a little more broader shouldered, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's simply right. because she's never done any kind of real activity in her life. She's not a sports girl. She is just the the little pretty mean girl probably in high school. Uh, although this yep. shoots so this shot is a little dangerous because I don't know if you guys know much about swans, but that little bird right there could break her arms, dude. <laughs> no, those they are dangerous. Swans are dude. no joke. Oh, swans are freaking no joke. pissed at you as well. They're, oh, they're ugly creatures. Yeah, they are. Um, I don't mm. know if she's fugly, dude. Uh, I think she's a normal. She's kind of got that girl next door type of look. Um, this I'll dress works. It. I think I get rid of the gloves, but I think it works. What do I know about she's, fashion? She's very, um, very plain, pretty. Like she's yeah. plain, but she's yeah. she's pretty. She's just yeah. not like she's not going to take your breath away at all. Like she's, no, that's not her. <laughs> this, is, this isn't bad. Beowulf says Booster likes Ooh, those no. gloves because it reminds him of the doctor's office. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about this one. What do you guys think? This doesn't work for me either. Yeah, she's one of those. She people has absolutely that... no physical assets. She doesn't have no. nice legs. She has no butt. She has no breasts. Like, no. what am I looking at here? I'm looking at a little boy, basically. What, what's happening? Yeah, that's pro part of the problem, I think. Yeah. But, I mean, she's just one of those people, uh, and I, I would say I'm one of them too, who can't wear everything. We have to be very careful about yeah. what we wear because we don't look good in everything. Uh, like my daughter, for instance, <clears throat> she uh, she can pretty much wear anything she wants. But her her with her, she you put any hat on my daughter, it looks exactly perfect. I don't know what it is. It's like a gift or something. 
Uh, but uh, mm. some people have that, right? It's just like some people can eat as much junk food as they want, and they don't get it. They don't gain an ounce. Yeah, yeah I, I definitely don't have that problem. No, I have. I don't, don't have that don't, problem either. Don't you worry, just a, <laughs> I gain plenty of ounces. What? In God's name, it's horrible, dude. It's horrible. These clothes are horrible. They, you know, and they could have fixed this real quick if they just put a black shirt on her, a black button up. That would have fixed this completely. It's like who's <sighs> who's doing this? You know, fashion people are weird, man. Uh, but uh, anyway, yeah. Sorry, Bree. Uh, I saw a couple look good though. I did see a couple. I don't want to be mean in this way because it doesn't really matter what she looks like, to be honest with you. Her attitude's the problem. But I think this looks really good on her. I like this. But anyway, I don't know why the hell we're talking about fashion. I blame Nick. It's definitely Nick. <laughs> I, I do blame Nick. Um, anyway, let's go over here and let's uh, do something a little bit more Ooh. fun. Uh, DC releases Ooh. first official trailer for Justice League versus The Fatal Five. Watch it here. I oh my shall God. watch I'm it so here. I'm so excited for this. Do you, do you guys know what this is? Oh, damn it. Yeah. It won't. Uh, oh, no. This oh, isn't good. This isn't no. good. Go back. Go back. What are you oh, doing? No, Dump, just double click the screen. I'm going to fix it. Give me a second. Just. Just. Uh, I'm fixing it. Calm yourself. Uh, you all right, son? So, this is actually based on Bruce Tim's Justice League from over 10 years ago. We need to know what he knows. He doesn't even know what he knows. It's the traitor. It's White. a ship, Marsh. We've come to the right place, Superman. Ooh, what he claims he's from the 31st century. I'm Jessica. Everyone knows Lime. I, I was the Fatal Five are coming! Driver. Well, well, ye old Justice League. <laughs> oh, I hate this animation. Uh. You it's take the, right. the if all. back. I didn't oh know you had powers, Thomas. It's kind of the standard DC animation. Yeah. Metropolis will be by the first of your cities to be flattened. It's a very different Or hand over the lantern. They don't we don't negotiate with terrorists, even the 31st century kind. Ooh. We stop our one enemies one. before they even start. It seems like we're focused on the uh, uh, later on. Desperate for me to decide what I'm doing. It looks pretty good, dude. I heard I'm you were very grabbing. excited for it. Oh, 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 no, someone's getting their butt kicked. Okay. Um, yeah, no, it looks pretty good, dude. I, lo I love the uh, DC. Uh, what are you doing? Quit doing that. Stop that. Okay, I'm, you're, you're done. Mm -hmm. right. It's just like the Justice League show. Just yep, like you know, it. Justice. Uh, that's the animation they do. And those are cool. I've really enjoyed those. So that looks great. Mm -hmm. Looks fun. The Superman. Now you were, were, didn't you watch this already or something? You saw? No, you watched the Superman. I I watched Reign of the Superman Reign recently. Reign of the Superman, and that was a yeah. new one, right? Yep. Yeah, it's a, a direct sequel to a Death of Superman uh, movie that came out last year. Oh, I gotta watch and that. They, one. Mm -hmm. they chickened out on it though. Did they? Yeah, I won't spoil it for you, but they chickened out on it. That's too bad. I'll check it out though because I like yeah. those. I usually watch it. It's still good. Kids. I mean, it's still fine. It's just I wish they wouldn't have uh, chickened out on the ending. Uh, mm -hmm. That's too bad. Uh, it acts actually probably the only thing I miss because uh, my kids, you know, being off at university. Well, actually, my daughter just graduated and she's got her first job up in uh, Fukuoka. So, you know, good for her. Congratulations. But I'm happy. You know, my wife is like, you know, a little bit sad because her her children are out of the house. But I'm like freedom. You know, <laughs> uh, but the one thing I do miss for, uh, with my kids is uh, playing board games with them and watching DC animation with them because they love this stuff, too. And we'll sit and enjoy it as a family, mm -hmm. you know, uh, but uh, that's I've been saying for a while now, DC needs to ditch their live action crap. Yeah, no, they're, they're... imagine oh. a full mm -hmm. big budget, like a hundred, two hundred million dollar animated 3D animated DC movie. With the same crew that makes oh. these, mm. directing it and plotting it and doing all that stuff, but mm. just turn it over to a better animation house. Yeah, it would be unbelievable. It would be incredible. Yeah. Yep, because they do these really well. Uh, Something anyway. like Into the Spot of Us, you know, with that kind of budget. Yeah, yeah and see, they make tons of money. Like I don't that, understand though. why they're why they're against it. They, they, these animated movies make tons of money. 
Yeah. And they sell forever because kids keep buying them. Yeah, and they were they are always current, right? Because it's animated, right? Yeah, but mm-hmm. yeah, no. Uh, that's our news for today, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. And and uh, if you really had uh, felt pain from the fashion shoot that we had to sit through, just blame Nick W. It's his fault. Uh, mm-hmm. without a question. Make sure to add Nick W. And say, uh-huh. uh, how dare you, you disgusting, disgusting human trash. Mm-hmm. Something like so, that. So, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, he'll, he'll appreciate that, I'm sure. All right. Well, now, this is what we're going to do. We're going to come over here and we're going to play Lords Waterdeep. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the rules real quick and then we'll play. This game looks a little complicated, but it's actually not. Um, and uh, it's, it, like I said, it's one of my favorite games and it's it's really fun. Uh, the cool thing about Lords Waterdeep, for those of you, those of you guys who uh, play board games, this is a super clean type game. Um, some games are a little quirky and they need FAQs to come out later to fix them and stuff like that. This game is super tight. It was, they play tested the hell out of it and it just works really well. Unlike a lot of Bethesda games. It just uh, works. It just works. Yes. Uh, that was a joke against Bethesda, by the way, if you guys were paying yeah. attention. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Nick W. I think is probably going to complain to me. He says, Chester, you and your family should watch Titans together. Right, Booster? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. It's run by lawyers. That's why. Uh, maybe. Uh, looks like Monopoly. <laughs> Draken, get out! Okay. Uh, anyway. Get, get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. Uh, but, you look no. like Monopoly. Now, I'm just going to do my spiel, and then we'll get into playing, okay? Uh, so, uh, this is Lords of Waterdeep, uh, which is set, of course, in Waterdeep, which is in the Forgotten Realms uh, uh, on the continent of Faerun. Uh, if any of you guys uh, play Dungeons & Dragons, and you play, you probably know about it. Uh, the uh, Forgotten Realms is certainly the most popular uh, campaign setting that uh, D&D has ever put out. Although there are some other good ones too, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of DM uh, you know gaming uh, groups will actually do their own homebrew stuff, like Booster here. Uh, his GM uh, mm-hmm. does uh, homebrew, right? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of them do, but a lot of people enjoy, and I, I kind of did both. They're in all my. I've been. I've been DM in D and D since I was like eleven or something. Uh, so you know, I've used uh, my own a lot, and I've used some of the created uh, campaigns as well. Uh, but uh, Forgotten Realms is a lot of fun, and of course, there's uh, a lot of content that has come out through T- uh, through uh, Watsi over the years, uh, books and uh, just you know videos and just tons of stuff. So this world is very deep and very rich. And if you know those things, if you read that stuff and you're up on that, you, this game has a, a nice little layer of, uh, of paint on it, which has nothing to do with game mechanics. But uh, there's a lot of characters and places that you will recognize if you know Waterdeep. And that's a, for me, that's a really cool little thing. Now, uh, this is a worker placement game. Now, what that what that means is we have certain uh, an amount of meeples. Now, meeples are these things over here. I'll, I'll show you real quick. Meeples. I, I just really, I love saying meeples. Okay. Uh, this right here is uh, uh, a meeple. And it basically just means my people. Uh, they're just little wooden tokens you get in board games. They're a very standard thing. Um, and they... Uh, they represent your your actions or things you're going to do or, or agents and stuff. And if you see right here, I'm playing green. I'm playing the Harpers, once again, as a Forgotten Realms reference. Um, and uh, I have an agent pool that has two in it. Everybody has two to start with right now. Uh, let me just check that real quick to make sure that uh, we have three players now. So let me check it real quick. Make sure. No, we each get another one. Oh, that's nice. All right, so do me a favor, guys. First thing we want to do here is, uh, uh, talking to here to Booster and Thundaro, uh, come over uh, to this no, area on the board over here and pick up one more of your color of meeple, please, and put it into your agent pool, okay? I will have one more meeple. All right, there you go. All My right. army grows. Now, what we're going to do be doing during this game is we're going to be, the rounds are really simple. Each round, and I have the starting token, so I'm going to start out here just so I can demonstrate. Uh, but each round, we're going to take our agent, one of our meeples, and we're going to put it on one of these spaces you see on the board, right? Um, you see some places have more than one space. Some uh, just have one. Um, and once that space is filled, 
uh, the next person who goes can't put it in a place that's already used. Okay, it's very simple. We keep going around the board. Each the, each action is very simple. You either complete a quest or you place a meeple. That's it. And we keep going around the board until it's done, and that will be the end of one round. Then we go to the next one. As you see right here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rounds. Okay. Um, now, what does that mean in the the in, in the play? Well, this game is all about quest cards, and let me just show you one I have right here. Now, this is a quest card. Now, uh, the thing up top that says Arcane, you see this other one I have down here says Warfare. There's four different kinds. There's Skullduggery uh, Skull and Piety. Of course, they represent mages, warriors, clerics, and thieves. All right, there's four different kinds. And the only thing that means is we're going to choose a lord over here in a minute. Uh, and your lord wants a specific quest, and if you do those quests, you don't have to, but if you do those quests, you get bonus points at the end of the game. But you know, that's the only thing that matters. Um, in these cards, like uh, let, let me come over here and take a look at this one real quick. Now, this right here is called Retrieve Ancient Artifacts. So it's a quest, right? And um, if you look down at the bottom, it says, Adventures are needed to re recover treasure from the ancient elven realm of Mirithar. Okay, I, pr I pronounced that perfectly, I'm sure. Um, but uh, those are just fun little, uh, fun little, you know, blue text, as you call it in, uh, in uh, role playing. Uh, but the real meat of the card is here in the middle. You see a thing that says requires, and then you see a thing that says reward. Well, the requires is very simple. Uh, the orange squares, the orange blocks, represent warriors. The black ones represent rogues. And the purple ones represent wizards, mages. And the white ones, which aren't on this card, represent clerics. And what you need to do is you need to collect enough of them to be able to finish this card. So I need two orange, one black, and two uh, purple. Or two fighters, one rogue, and two wizards, right? Once I do that, on my, on my turn, I can complete the quest, and then I get the reward. And it's 11 victory points, which will be counted around the, the edge of the board there. And I get four gold, right? And we keep doing this over and over and over until the end, whoever has the most uh, victory points wins. And there's a few little bonus points we'll get at the end too, but we'll deal with that then. So this is what I need you to do, Thundero. Uh, sitting right uh, next to your color over here, you see this little red token? You see that? All right. And uh, pick that up. You see right here? Yeah, pick it up. Just grab it. Bring it over here. You see where Booster and I have ours here? Just put, them on, put it right on top. Right on top. There you go. On top of us. All right. So... Um, that's how we're going to start. Now, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to be the first player. So what I need to do is I need to take four gold. So I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to take one. I've got to put it right here. Oh, I shouldn't have those. I was demonstrating earlier. I do apologize. All right. And uh, let's see who's next to my left. That would be Booster. Booster, you take five gold. Uh, and uh, Thundaro, you take six, okay? Now just keep in mind the crescents are worth five and the uh, little squares are worth one, okay? But I get four, Booster gets five, Thundaro gets six, all right? Let me grab the Why does he get game. more gold than me? Because going first in this game actually matters. Some games it doesn't <clears> matter so much. And just put them right in the middle of your little play mat here. Now, this play mat is uh, important because... <clears throat> It represents your tavern. See, in this game, you're playing a lord of Waterdeep. Now, this doesn't mean political lord. Oh, well, it is, but this is uh, this is kind of an oligarchy that's going on in this city. It's a city-state. And uh, you're kind of a mafioso leader, in a way. And uh, we're each playing different things. For instance, uh, I am playing the Harpers here. Okay, and we can look on my card right here, and it says Harpers. The Harpers were founded ages ago by elven leaders with a council of the legendary wizard Elmister. This secret society fights for individual freedoms while balancing the needs of civilization and nature. They're basically kind of wizardly Robin Hoods, right? Uh, let me come over here to Booster, and Booster is playing the... I am the city god! He is. Read it out. I'm showing everyone you can read it. <clears throat> Waterdeep is defended by its own army of soldiers who patrol the city and the surrounding countryside. The city guard also provides bodyguards for Perigurian, the Paladinson, 
and for visiting dignitaries. Sweet. <laughs> okay. And Thundaro is playing. I'll be doing this voice this whole time. <laughs> oh, a little no. sideways, but the, the red sash. I'm playing the guys who are going to slit his throat so he can't do that anymore. He's playing the I <laughs> am apparently the red slashes. Vigilantes who protect the poorest parts of Waterdeep. The red slashes are masters of intrigue. They hide those who need to escape. And find those who wish to stay hidden. Red sashes, rather. Yeah, red sashes. sashes. They're slashing on my mind. They're thieves' guild. <laughs> so, so uh, Thunder is the lord of the thieves. Uh, Booster is the That's lord right. of the bully uh, police, and I'm the <laughs> Robin Hood people. So I'm the good guy. Awesome, as it should be, dude. <laughs> All right. Now we got our gold. Now Booster and I have already set up our other stuff. Uh, but uh, so do me a favor here, uh, Thunder. Uh, come mm -hmm. over here to the quest card you see I'm on. And take mm -hmm. two and put them face up in the area next to your tavern. Okay. Now, um, right here, it, this uh, little play mat is representing your tavern. It's kind of um, uh, where you do all your control and stuff out of. Um, and uh, so we're going to put those on the side. You got those set up yet? Sweet. There you go. Perfect. Uh, and I then uh, I'll come over here and grab, uh, just uh, just hover over the entry deck over here, uh, Thunder, and press two. And keep those hidden, okay? Okay. All right, cool. Now we'll go hey, ahead and start. You guys because... can't see him, right? No, no, we can't see him, and we don't want to. I can see okay. his hand on the on the stream. Yes, you can. This oh, fool you're has... cheating, cheater. Showing. Aha! Now, I yeah, you I'll take fool. that off. I guess it, it doesn't really matter, but uh, yeah, I'll just uh, I'll do like that, you bastards. Okay, cool. So. This is what we're going to do. We're going to start out. I'm going to go first. Now, it's this. It's really very simple. I am going to take... Now, in each round, you can do one of two things. You can either finish a quest or you can place an agent. I don't have any... I have nothing to finish a quest with, so obviously I need to do an agent. Now, if we look over here on the board, we have many cool spots. And like I said, if you know Forgotten Realms or, or Waterdeep specifically, you'll recognize all these locations. Now... Um, uh, there are some uh, places up here, for instance, the Cliff Watch Inn. This is a place where you can pick up new quests. You can also get some gold here. You can pick up an entry card. Uh, you can uh, uh, shuffle, get rid of get rid of these quests and get new ones if you want. Uh, over here at the, um, at the uh, what is this called, the Grinning Lion Tavern, you can get two black cubes. Uh, here at the Plinth, you can get a white, a cleric. Uh, if you come down here to Aurora's uh, Realm Shop, you can get four gold. Uh, you come down here to the Builder's Hall. If you have enough gold, you can buy one of these buildings here and take ownership and add more spots for us to use onto the board, which is kind of cool. Uh, if you come over here to Waterdeep Harbor, you can put yours in one of those. And you get the, This is a good spot. You guys want to keep this in mind. You get to play an entry card, not get one, play one. And when everyone has placed all their meeples, uh, you can take your meeple off of here and put it into an, an, an unused space. So that's a pretty candy one. If you can do that every round, you probably want to try. Uh, we have Castle Waterdeep, which you can steal the first player token, which I'm holding right now, right? Uh, and you get an entry card. <clears throat> uh, Black Tower, uh, Blackstaff Tower, because Blackstaff is a very famous wizard in Forgotten Realms. You pick up a purple and the Field of Triumph, which is kind of like a barracks training ground for a military. You pick up two fighters here. Um, and that's pretty much it. So uh, if you have any questions, either one of you guys, just let me know. Thundar, you should make sure that those two intrigue cards you have, you should read them very clearly. Uh, so we're going to start out. This is how we're going to do it. I'm going to come over here to the Lord's deck. You see where I am, guys? Whoa. Whoa. You what see? Squeal. See where yeah. I am? Yeah. Okay. Uh, just mm -hmm. take one. Keep it hidden. Do not show anybody. Okay. We can see your lord, you fool. And you can come in, and it goes underneath. Uh, you can put it, I'll put it over here next to the thing. Uh, but just make sure that you can look at it and see what it is, right? And what you'll notice on there um, is it'll have some blue text. And uh, this is kept secret to the end of the game. But you'll have some blue text tell you who the guy is. But then down the bottom, it will say at the end of the game, you score four for each something or something. Um, we In this thing, we have warfare, we have arcane, we have piety, we have skullduggery, and we have commerce. There's five of them. All right. And whatever your combination of two is, you want to do your best to complete those 
quest over others because you get four bonus points at the end of the game. You don't have to, but it, it's going to help you if you can do that. You're going to you're going to be have better chance of winning, right? Anyway, so just look at that and understand what it is, and uh, we're going to go ahead here and start. All right. Now, all we do when we start a round, the same thing we do every round, is very simple. We take these uh, over here. Like I said, there's eight rounds, right? So we have one, two, three, mm -hmm. four, five, six, seven, eight, right? We take these right here. I'm going to take one off. It goes on top of these building things, right? Like this. And each round, we do this same thing, right? And it also shows us what round it is right there. Very nice. And if you buy one of these buildings and build it, you get the victory points. You'll take them and throw them over here on the side of the board, get rid of them, and you'll score the points over here on the board as you would. Uh, but uh, the over, over time, they will grow up. Like if no one buys one of these, and next round I do it again. So this is a kind of like bonus little victory points you can get. And it's cool too because it uh, it keeps very uh, clear track of the uh, uh, rounds for us. All right. But I'm going to go ahead and I look over here on my things. Now this Arcana, um, I could go and do that. But if those you just saw my Lord character, everybody. So it's, you, you know that it would be better for me to try to pursue this warfare. Right. And it says bolster Griffin Calvary. <clears throat> Elite Griffin Riders patrol Waterdeep skies. That is a cool thing about Waterdeep. They have Griffin Rider patrols. Uh, but this requires me to get four orange and four gold. Well, I have the four gold. And then the reward is kind of cool, too. And then this one's a little bit unique. You see down the bottom where it says plot quest? Well, that uh, those are just special quests. When you finish them, they go on the uh, left side of your, other, excuse me, the right side of your board. Uh, and what they do is they only, they give you a reward, like this is six victory points, but it also gives you something every round. There, there are not a lot of those uh, uh, plot quests, but they're really cool if you can get them. So I'm going to focus on trying to finish this. So therefore, I need orange. So I'm going to look over here, and I look at my entry card, and you see I can do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... Uh, I could come over here to this uh, the Fields uh, of Tranquility and uh, get two uh, orange, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to come over here. Uh, no, I am going to do that, actually. Let's do that first. That would be a smarter move. All right. So I place this here, very simply, and I take two orange. One. Two. And I'm done. Go ahead, Booster. And just remember, uh, Thundero, when you look at your quest cards, you see the what it costs to, to finish them in the required. You just want to collect them mm -hmm. on the board the best you can. It's real simple. Okay. Go ahead, Booster. Push, uh, place one of your agents on the board or complete a quest, which I'm sure you can't do. <coughs> For my quest, I shall acquire some rogues. Aha! Sweet. Thundero. There you go. So Thundero is coming over here to the uh, uh, the plinth and pick himself up a cleric. Sweet. Now it's back to me. Uh, now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to play my entry card. So I'm going to put it on the uh, water deep, uh, water deep harbor here, uh, and you see this right on the map too. It's really cool. And then I can play, uh, not get. I can play one. So what I'll do is I'll play this one. I'll put this down, and it gives me options. You see, I can either take gold, or I can take warriors, rogues, wizards, or clerics. Uh, well, I I want the uh, warriors, right? Uh, so I'm going to come over here and take two more. Go ahead, Booster. My meeple shall also play a card. Ha! So you're coming I over here to... I activate my trap card. Sweet. Let's see what that does. Assassination. Ooh. Each opponent removes one black from his or her tavern and re returns it to the supply. Ooh. For each opponent that could not do this, take two gold from the supply. So I can't do it. How about you, Thundera? Nope. Nope, so he no gets blood. basically Go. four gold, you bastard. And go ahead and put mm -hmm. that in the discard mm -hmm. over here, right? <clears throat> so if Can you I play a card, your... oh, you don't no, like I... to play one of your guys? Is that what it is? If you if you play, or... well, no, because he had to place that to play. So he mm -hmm. did use an agent to play that. But at the end, this <laughs> water, water Deep Harbor, we're going to get to move them somewhere else. So we get to play the, uh, an extra round in a way. So if you can take that third spot, you probably should. Uh, Booster, put that in the garbage yeah. over here, please. No, no, no. It goes right yeah. here, dude. It goes right here. Right here. Bring it back. What are you doing? Crazy person. Put it's it gone. over here. 
Where is it, dude? The card disappeared. <laughs> he threw it off the table. <laughs> the card is no more. <laughs> we do reshuffle, you know. Oh, well, it's fun. Oh, by the way. <laughs> we can't reshuffle that card. By the way, guys, just so you can see here, we are in a cool room. We have Xan Xanathar is sitting there. That's the Beholder. is killed by these heroes. It's kind of cool little room. It doesn't really matter, but I mean, uh, we are playing on this table. It's cool. I, I like this uh, setup uh, they have here. Hang on one second here. I'm not done yet. Choose course. Well, it is your turn. Where, what did you do? Oh, you I did put the it in the harbor. Thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, so uh, did you play your entry card? No, I'm going to play the, pretty much the exact same one Booster just did. because You son of a gold. gun! Well, well, Booster does have black, though. Whoa. Do not What's take that? away my blacks! Okay, I, my meeple requires my Where blacks! Where did that card come from? I don't know what... This is Booster's, and I'm going to put it over here. So you have a different card, I'm assuming. Where the hell is that going? Why, are you, why is Booster touching stuff? That's a problem. I am not <laughs> touching anything. He's always <laughs> touching stuff. No, I, I have touched God, nothing. Okay, so let me read that card again. Hang on. What does it say? If each opponent removes blank from his or her tab and returns to the supply. For each opponent that could not... Yeah, I get two gold. He has to put his rogues back. That's what it says. What? Hold on, hold Both on. my rogues! <laughs> this, right? Is this your card? Is that the card you played? Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, we both played the same card. Oh, okay. I had the same right, card. Right. Son of a bitch. So let me let me <laughs> let me make sure. It says each opponent removes one black, not two, one. Yeah, just remove one. Yeah, just yeah. one. I can't do that, so you get two gold. All right, we've come to a compromise. You may have one of my blacks, I shall keep the other. <laughs> you get two gold from me, dude. Oh, I get it from you? Well, not from me, but what from the you know, you get it okay. from the center, okay. but gotcha. uh, I can't put a black so. All right, so he's done. So okay. it comes over to me, right? Now, I'm working mm -hmm. on finishing this warfare plot uh, quest, right? So uh, I need uh, four orange, uh, four fighters, and four gold. Well, I got that. So instead of putting a meeple this round, I'm actually going to complete a quest. So all I do is I pick this up. I move it onto this side because it's finished, right? Uh, and I got to pay for it. So I take my orange and I put them back. All right. I'm dropping stuff where it shouldn't be, but that's all right. I put my gold back, which is leaving me completely empty in my tavern. Ooh, that's not a good idea. That's okay. That also means it can't be stolen by these guys. That's a good thing. Too. Do I draw another card? No. Nope. Intrigue card? No, you don't. There's places okay. on the board to get new ones, though. Gotcha. All right. So I just completed that. I get the treasure for that, which is six points. So all I do is I come oh, over I here. I drew another intrigue uh, card. Does that make me a cheater? Yes, it does. You vicious. Oh, I'll, I'll put here. I choose my Harpers, which are on the bottom. That's cool. You can do that. Oh, what are you doing? Stop that. Uh... <laughs> I do not mean to cheat. Booster, can you please get the Harper out and give me, uh, give me what was that? Six points. The green one. Six points. Yep. <clears throat> You have acquired points, okay, Chester. Okay, I get it now. Okay. Okay. You will make a worthy right. fight. Now, uh, this is a plot quest. This is special. Uh, so uh, this one goes special. on this side. It doesn't go in the center. Because normally you put them here where it says completed quest. But this is a plot mm -hmm. uh, quest. So it goes on this side. And you see that any time in the future that I do an action, any action, that gets me an orange, a warrior uh, cube, I get an extra one. So it's just this cool little boost that this mission gets me. And I've also picked up six points. I'm leading. <laughs> Go ahead, Booster. Hmm. Now I must think hard on my decision. <laughs> Do I wish to purchase a building, perhaps? For I am rich. <laughs> I'm going to purchase this. Okay. So oh. uh, give yourself one victory Eight point. Ha <laughs> ha. Wait, where are the victory points at? They're over here. You just saw me get oh, sick. Oh, shit. Right? Where did it go? I oh, put I it see. away. You don't need that. You don't keep that. That's just oh, it, these. It, it, this gotcha. is garbage gotcha. over here. It's Booster God, gives God himself God a single water. point. There he goes. Um, very nice there, Booster. Now, he has bought this, and he put it up top. Now, Booster, take one of your little um, white tokens and put it on there, please. I will pay this coin. They're in the bag. Take one out of the bag. And put it right on the bottom corner. No, no, right down here. Yeah, there you go. And it automatically locks. And then So now what does he this, get for that? Uh, well, he gets nothing right now. But what it does is it adds a new place 
on that costs eight, dude. Well, that's expensive. Uh, it adds a new spot for us to put our meeples, right? Our agents. Mm -hmm. Meeples. And, uh, anybody can use it. If Booster uses or we use it, we get two orange and one purple. Awesome. But if one of us, Thundero, use it, then he can choose. See down the bottom, it says owner. He can choose to either take an orange or a purple of his, you know, he gets to choose. So when you buy a building, gotcha. you're actually, you're getting benefit when it gets used. And it's giving us more opportunities on the board as well. They're, uh, some of them are really cool too. But anyway, he did that. So we want to replace that. Go ahead, Booster, replace that uh, that uh, thing that you bought, please. Of course. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, let me come to the I chat real quick. A, uh, a double assassination. Ha ha ha. Uh, Meeple's Choice Award. The Meeple's Liberation Army. They're talking about uh, gaming stuff. Cool, dude. Uh, Meeple's. First two 100 <laughs> points win. No, actually, you can go over 100 points if you want. If you can. <clears throat> I was late, he says. Um, just keep in mind, guys, if you want to join us for these games, uh, all you have to do is just buy Tabletop Simulator. Uh, it's pretty Correct. easy to do. Um, anyway, so it's that very was... very cheap on sale. That was Booster, right? Booster's turn. Uh, so yep. Booster's finished. Uh, what are you doing, uh, Thundar? Okay, so if I buy one of these buildings, I don't get to well, set my last well, red for, guy, well, right? Well, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Booster, <clears throat> where is your white meeple? Why is it not sitting on the building? Mm -hmm. I don't... My meeple... I forgot to move no, it. No, why are you moving it? You can't move it, dude. Choose one of the other what? ones off your board. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Now, hold on a second. So my Booster. meeple stands here. No, Booster. I am confused. Booster, hold on a second. Where was the first place you went in this game? You went to the black, right? This, uh, you went over then here, I was, right? Yeah. yeah, don't touch them. When they're on the board, don't touch them. You cheater. Oh, yeah, God. Booster. <laughs> All right. This game confuses me. It shouldn't. It's really simple. You put your agents down. I am don't very touch simple. Them until you're told otherwise. <laughs> uh, go ahead, Thundar. I'll do it to, uh, try to finish your quest here, right? Okay. So, what is happening? Why did it do that? All right. So, I want to buy the one in the middle here for two gold or three gold. You can't because uh... Booster is in that spot. You can't go there now. Ha <laughs> ha! This He's building is mine, now, this Dave. Is... This is part of the strategy. If Wait, you see, now? you that's why we keep the quest face up, guys. Because if you see someone's working on something, you want you can block them, right? And Booster has blocked that. That is done. You cannot. Uh, the city god owns no, these halls. Hold on a second. Who put this VP over here? Don't touch things, Booster. I I keep there. making mistakes. <laughs> you do. <laughs> well. Yeah. Now that's part of that's part of the strategy of the game, Thunder. It's just gold. Okay, so we can't. I can't buy this one that Booster's right next to. Is what you're telling you me. You can't this buy right anything here. right now because he's taking up the spot. Now the one he just gotcha. bought and put on the board, you could use that if you wanted to get two orange and a purple. You could come up here to the Cliff Watch Inn. You could get a new quest. There's no limit as how many you have. Do it. Uh, you could also it pick up more gold, me. or you, uh, if you take the middle spot, you can get another entry card, etc. Um, uh, yeah. I am just going to do this then. And get some more gold. Not a bad idea. All right, now I have one more I can do too. What happened? Why didn't it give it to me? Give it to me. And what I'm going give to me do my gold. is I'm going to come over oh, here. Give it to me. And I'm going to take my last guy and I'm going to put it on this uh, cliff watch in here in the middle spot. So I can I get an entry card, which I'm going to take. Okay. Uh, why did those say well? No, that's not right. Someone did some. Booster keeps touching stuff. I have not touched anything, Knave. <laughs> Definitely touching stuff. Here we go. All right. Um, and I'm also going to choose a quest. So let's see. What do I need? Now, we know that with my lord over here, which, you know, usually I would keep this secret, but, uh, you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, let me flip this and look at it. Now, my lord here, uh, he likes commerce quest and warfare quest. Well, I already finished one warfare. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to choose a warfare or commerce quest if I can. All right? <clears throat> this one's Skullduggery, which is for rogue-type people. Don't need that. Uh, this is for clerics. It's a piety one. Don't need that. Arcane, don't need that. Piety. So I don't need any of these, but i got to take one. Hmm. This isn't so hard, and I do get oranges quite easy this one i get a lot of oranges too <clears throat> this one 
This quest requires Ooh. many blacks. Look at that. That's a 25 point, though. That's a big one if you can finish that. But you need to focus on blacks. And you see I'm getting bonuses of orange right now. Collect so I think many I will take this uh, awesome. house uh, festival of Forsoon. Um, and uh, Waterdeep's festival for soon attracts the greatest bards in Faerun. You are sure to learn from them. Uh, and soon, of course, is the beautiful sex goddess of the Forgotten Realm. So I'll take this one. A very lovely lady. She is a lovely lady. <laughs> All right. Let me just put it over here next to this. And uh, I'm going to replace that. The one I just took. Sweet. All right. There we go. All right. So now... Here's the thing. I'm done. We come over to Booster. Now, Booster, can you complete a quest yet? No, and I have no more meeples. Yes, and do you can you c complete a quest, uh, uh, Thundarl? Mm -mm. Okay, so... I cannot. That means we're done, right? But, because we're all sitting on Waterdeep uh, uh, Harbor here, we get to take our meeples and uh, uh, put them somewhere else, which is kind of cool. Now, here's the thing, though. <clears throat> Um, we go in order, so it doesn't matter who has a first-person token. That means nothing. Uh, but who? What is the order? We got one, two, three. So I put there first. So I get to go first. Right. So I pick this up and I'm going to put this. And uh, let's see. There's two two spots here I could go to. Uh, there's certainly that if I wanted to do that. Uh, but I think I'm going to come over here and I'm going to use Booster's um, uh, card that he put. All right. So ah. what this does is very, very simple. It gives me two orange and one purple, but Booster gets to have an orange or a purple of his choice, which he just did. Now, I'm going to take my purple. Of course. This would be a mutually beneficial move. But as you guys know from my plot quest over here, every time I get orange, I get to take an extra. So instead of getting two, I get to take three. So I'll take one, Aha. two, and three. All right, now, next on there is white, which is Booster. So go ahead, Booster, pick your meeple up off the water deep harbor and choose one of the open spots to use it. Uh, hmm. This is a very important decision. And I acquire more blacks by just bouncing on top of this one. <laughs> no, you don't. Uh, no, I don't did, think that's how that works. Okay, you get, hmm. you, you, get you two black, though. And then, of course, uh, why is he doing this? Th uh, where did you take... Uh, you, oh, you can't use that. You're still deciding. All right, Booster, make of choice. Pick up your meeple and put it on one of these two spots that are available for you, dude. Or, uh, well, there's some up top, too. Yeah, I will two. take this no, one. No, don't. I will... He keeps doing what? this, dude. Don't move it from here. Take it from Waterdeep Tower, dude. <laughs> from over here. Harbor, sorry. Oh, my here. God. Now, take... Uh, what you do is get two gold. All right. And you get to choose one of the quests up there. Remember to pay attention to your lord. Uh, sometimes you can't, like I did. I had to take an arcane. I wasn't really what I want. But no, don't take it from the top. God, he doesn't listen. Put it back, dude. Put it back. <laughs> take it from, from one these of the four, four that's sitting here. You, one of the four that's sitting here, please. Ah. <laughs> Is that the one you wanted? Did you take time? This guy. You made me panic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fine. And then the last one is Thunder, of course. <laughs> All right. Hang on. Let me look at my guy again. What does he like? He likes... Flip over. He likes... Okay. All right. Well, gentlemen, things are, are going to just... I'm just going to have to uh, do that. And take okay. me one of these little wizards. Now, keep in mind the two spots that didn't get used. Uh, the one here, which is uh, Castle Waterdeep. This will let you take the first player token from me. And you also get an entry card. Uh, the last spot, sitting on Cliff Watch Inn, what that lets you do is you take all four of these quests that are sitting here, throw them away, refill it with four new ones, choose one, and then replace it. Uh, that's what that last spot does. Okay, so we're completely done. There's nothing more we can do. We are finished. All right, we can't finish any. <clears throat> I'm close to finishing this, but uh, I'm not close enough. So uh, we're done. Uh, you guys still can't finish any quest, right? Yeah, we already passed all right. that. So this is all you do. Enough. All you do is take all your meeples from the table and put them back on your on your uh, tavern up in the agent area, right? Oh, 
I stole I stole the wrong color. Where's my third meeple? I stole it. I I give it back. Bad Where is my white meeple? I'm a bad bad Harper. Here you go, dude. <clears throat> Trying to steal my meeples. I know. I'm I'm such a criminal. All right. Now <clears throat> we just do that again. I take these off, right? And one goes on here. So now you see these have two on them, which is kind of nice. And we're in round two. Simple, simple, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I still have the first player token, so I go first. Um, hmm. Well, I know what I want to do. I want to finish one of these, right? So this one right here <clears throat> gives me a reward of 11 and 4. This gives me a 9 in the two whites. Hmm. I don't really want to waste too much time on each one, any of them. But uh, if I look over here, uh, it's not really what I want. It's not what I want. Not what I want. Not what I want. Hmm. Well, I'm going to take this uh, because I need gold. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to take four gold. Done. Now, what are you doing? Whoa. <laughs> and throw your guy around like a psychopath. <laughs> okay. Uh, so go ahead, Booster. And it just hmm. goes... It goes to the left as any normal game would, you know. My meeples shall go to the plinth and acquire a cleric for my quest. Sweet. Okay. All right. Well, I am going to buy this building now since Booster can't stop me. You can as long as you have the money. Oh, I have the money. Sweet. It's only three. All right. uh, Lorenzo There's says two. it doesn't play at all like D&D. No, dude, it's a straight-up board game. Yeah. This disgusting thief has acquired gold without my presence. The city so gods you can just take. Three no, points. no, don't. you don't keep those. Put them over here on this garbage over here. Uh, but there's two of them. Take there's, those away, you and take your. You get two victory points over here, right? Why does he get two? Because that's what it was on there, too. Right, go ahead. Hmm. One, two. Uh, and then go ahead and, and uh, replace that building a with a new one, please. Okay. Now, I don't get the the white and stuff yet unless somebody puts a thing there, yeah? Uh, no, you don't get anything yet. Uh, you could put a meeple there if okay. you wanted. Also, please remember, take your meeple and put it on that spot, right? Yeah, yeah. Hang on. Things are on my way. All right. Um, and then, so he just put out a new building here he's purchased. Uh, this is the House of the Moon, and it only costs three. Um, and you get to take, uh, uh, you get one cleric, and you get to take one face-up quest. That's a pretty nice card, dude. Mm. And the owner, if it's used by someone else, gets two gold for that action. Sweet, dude. That's <laughs> I'm getting nice. all the gold. I'm hoarding it. All right, it's my turn here. So what do I want to do? Hmm. Well, I want to finish these cards. Uh, but I think I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to uh, put myself in Waterdeep Harbor, and I'm going to play an Intrigue card, and I'm going to play this one. So, uh, this card says that uh, each opponent removes one white, one cleric, from his or her tavern oh. and returns it to the supply. For each opponent that could not do so, you score two victory points. So, Booster, you do you prick. have any whites? Ah, Chester, you little shit! <laughs> I need my whites! <laughs> and Thundera, did you have a white too? I did, and it is okay. in there now. Good. Uh, I didn't get I anything will off remember it, but I did take something trail. away from them. And I'm done. Go ahead, Booster. The city guard will not forgive this treachery. <laughs> I will allow... I Thank will you. ally myself with the yeah, House of funny. the Moon. He said, when well, you're only half paying attention... Uh, and so you keep Thank hearing you Booster talk booster. about his nipples instead of meeples. <laughs> hey, Wolf, I will have you know I have the most glorious nipples in all the land. I need to pay attention. Oh, no. What did Aha! Booster do? Where did, he, where did you do, Booster? I went to the House of the Moon to acquire a new cleric for my quest. And you get to take one of the face-up quest cards, too. <laughs> and I get two gold. Thank yes, you. you do. This will be a most... Mutual beneficiary. Did you choose one of these right, face-up gonna... quests yet, Booster? I am choosing Chester. <laughs> Give me a minute, please. I do apologize. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Good guy. 
Uh, did any of you guys read the uh, Forgotten Realms comic book uh, DC published back in the early 90s? Absolutely, dude. That's uh, from Argos Creations. Um, that sounds like it's for nerds. So did you? Wait, I am not yet? a nerd. Are I'm just done yet. And you replaced it. What a good I, boy. I right. have. She, she yeah. has, has gotten a new quest. All right, go ahead, Thunder. Now you see over here, Thunder just yeah. picked up a new one. He's got uh, perform the penance of duty. Ooh, penance. I am not Fundaro. Radio. <laughs> I didn't say you were. What you doing, Thunder? I'm thinking. Okay, I so I can play an entry card and put one of my guys down, yeah? Uh, well, no, you can't. You have to go to a place that lets you, you play one. an entry card, which, of course, is only gotcha. right now Waterdeep Harbor. But, of course, you get to move that at the end, right? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Right. And, and then go ahead and play your entry. I'm going to play this card. I don't really know what it does, but I wanted to play it so I could figure it out. Okay, no problem. All right, choose a quest type. Arcana, Commerce, Piety, blah, blah, blah. Draw and reveal, reveal quests until you reveal the card of the chosen type. So I just get to pick one, whatever I want, and then yeah. I um, keep so drawing which, cards until I get that? All you do is you've got to come over here to the quest card pile, right? Mm -hmm. And you've got to keep drawing until you, until you see a title, meaning Arcane, Skullduggery, or whatever, that you like. And, of course, gotcha. you want to match that to your lord, right? Well, you don't have to yeah. take all of them. What are you doing? You took the whole deck, dude. Oh, I didn't mean to take it all. What are you doing, you fool? <laughs> so, uh, no man can handle that many quests. Just go ahead and take one off and just put it on the side here for a second. Let me. Oh, let me take one. All right, let's go now. Uh, uh, there it I goes. got it. There I got goes. it. Give me that card. Give me that card. No, no, no. That's not what you're doing. No, no, that's not right. No, no. Bring it over Where here. Where do you want me to put it? Put it right, over, right there. It's fine. Drop it. Oh, by the way, I'm looking for an Arcana card. Uh, that's Piety. Okay, so next one. You don't have to show us, but, um, you know. Well, it does, does it really matter? Commerce. Warfare. Skullduggery. There's one. Arcana. All right. Keep that one. Okay. That's the one I get. Quest. And then... No. Uh, these go Gee, over here doing? into the uh, oh come on now no i'm only picking up go. one i want all of them oh my gosh of course i get this craziness okay and i drop that in the discard and if we have not enough we just reshuffle um all right so you're done with that uh make sure you take your entry card and throw in the discard over here please then it's my turn. Hmm. I go one meeple left i certainly can't finish a card here can i no i can't uh huh. So I can't go there. I could go here. That would definitely be useful to me. I think that's okay. what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take this one. I'm going to come over here to Booster's card. <clears throat> so Booster, you get a purple or an orange, ah, your choice. Excellent. I get one purple, of course. And I get three because of my plot quest of these things. Is throwing money I away. will take an orange for my quest. It's flinging money around, I am. All right, I'm done. Go ahead, Booster. Ha! I, I am thinking. He's thinking. Give me a moment, please. Can I buy another one, or can you only buy one building at a time? Around? No, you can only buy one at a time because there's only one spot. Now, okay. Understand that there are cards in the building here and cards in the intrigue here that let you do okay. more. <clears throat> gotcha. There are cards that'll let you do that, but right now this is what we're limited to. My meeple should go to Water Deep Harbor to play a trap card. Something worse. Ah shit! I, I think I did that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Assign one of your unused meeples to a building in Builder's Hall. You immediately use the effect of the builder building as though you're controlled. So here you go, Thundero. If you use this, this card, guy he can double unused. up purchase in a round. This would let you to use uh, the builder spot that has already been used. But you don't have another meeple, so you can't do that, dude. I want to take back my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Put your entry card back where it goes. Oh, that's hilarious. I'm going to do something else instead, because that was dumb. 
<laughs> so pick up your meeple out of the harbor, pick it up. But it's I'm going right. to collect some rogues instead. <laughs> Oh man, for that was a great. Quest. <laughs> <laughs> Power to the meeples. Yeah, skull duggery. Ha ha. Absolutely. Uh, go ahead, Thunder. It's my turn now, yes? Yeah, okay, it is. Good. I am just going to do this again because I need all of the wizards in the whole game. I need them all. Let's have them. All right. <laughs> all right. That's my turn. Now, of course, I don't have any meeples, so I can't uh, put my agents out anywhere, but I can complete a quest. I can't do this one, but I can do this one, and I'm going to. All right, so uh, this cost me four, uh, which I have. So four here. One, two. Ah, it will be right back. I got to let my dog inside. Three. And yes, four. you go do a real life quest. It takes two orange, so I put those two back. So one here, two, and it takes two purple as well. All right. And one. And two. Now, uh, of course, I've, this is a standard thing. This is not a plot quest like my first one, right? So all I do is I just come over here and I take that and I put it, uh, I put it uh, right here. All right, finished. All right, and of course, as we see here, this gives me nine victory points and two white. So I just take the two white first. You go ahead, booster. All right, so now that all my meeples are gone from this part, right, are now all on the board, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm back. Um, am I able to use any of these guys again and move them someplace else, or are they all, they're all no, fixed? I have to do no, something else with you them. are done. Uh, you have no right, agents okay. to place, but, but you I can, can complete a quest. a quest. So do so. I, yes. I will complete. I can't complete that quest. <laughs> so you won't complete that quest. <laughs> <laughs> can you complete any quest, Booster? He can, oh my god! He's close, but he cannot at the moment. No. <laughs> <sighs> oh, I didn't get my gold for Booster going there. I am Man, I gotta get so my close. Let me get this gold. Oh my god, I am like one dude away from completing any well, of these quests. Therefore, that means this you, are is, done, you are done for the this round. This is, is my such turn. a cock tease. So to sit down my guy. and just enjoy... In boredom, as Thundar and I continue. Go ahead, Thundar. I will enjoy this boredom. <laughs> now, Thundar, can I... you, you can't place a meeple, obviously, but can you complete a quest? No, but I can move my guy, right, out of the harbor? Yep, just wait one second. Now, I cannot complete another okay. quest either, so therefore, we go into that. <clears throat> so the round is done. Okay. There's no more can be done except for the harbor gets to move. So I'm sitting in the first position, okay, so I, I get to move it. it. So where would I would like to put that. Hmm, this over here is uh, fighters. I can always get a bonus of that. But I think what I want to do is try to get uh, a black here or something. Or maybe I want to pick up a new quest. I think I want to look at the new quest. But I don't like any of this nonsense over here. <clears throat> Ooh, I like this one. Ooh. Hmm. Whoa, what the? Oh, no, I'm <sighs> definitely coming over here to do that. So I'm going to come over here. Uh, do I want another entry card or I want gold? I'm going to take the entry card. Uh, so I'm going to take this quest, put it down here in my uh, my set, and I'm going to replace one. There you go. And I also get an entry card. So go ahead, Thundero. Okay, so it is uh, my turn to move my guy, and I am going to move him here and take two fighters. Sweet. Right. And pop. Okay, so that round is different. Everyone take back your meeples. Uh, different. Done. Take back your meeples. Give me <laughs> my meeples. There needs to be a meeple return button. Well, but yeah, no, it would be, I, I get the idea of if everything was like automated, but in a way I kind of like it because this is how you norm would really play on a board, dude. Yeah. It's just like being on a board where except for the mouse is your hand. I mean, it's uh, I like that actually. Um, <clears throat> then of course we're moving on. So I need to take uh, these off here and put one on each one of these buildings. So, so they become more and more w worth more victory yep. points. Uh, the longer they go unacquired. I see. That is right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
So and, that's why uh, going first is so important. Darn it, I should have taken the first player. <laughs> Darn it. This is round three. <laughs> Uh, we start with the first play. Oh, that would be me. Uh, and of course, uh, we look gold. here. Booster has a single point. A Thundera has two, and I have fifteen. You guys suck. Uh, all, right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. If I can, you will this rue one, the I'll day you insulted me, Sir Chester. So, right. what's my strategy for this round, everybody? Uh, look over here. This one I definitely want to finish, right? Because this allows me to have more playing around. So, I'm going to work on this. So, we see what I need. Uh, and I'm going to do whatever I can to get that. So, this over here uh, is kind of cool, but I don't need that. This would be kind of cool. Then we have the one spot here, which lets us get it too. But it's uh, <clears throat> obviously the most valuable move for me to do would be come over here. Even though it's helping Booster. Oh, well. Uh, so, Booster, I'm going to come over to your thing. Uh, so, please uh, go ahead and uh, take your orange or purple, whichever is your choice. I'm going to take hmm. my one purple. I will take a fight for my quest. And, of course, I get three of these. Go ahead, uh, uh, Booster. I shall go to Waterdeep Harder and use this card correctly <laughs> this time. Waterdeep Harder. <laughs> this right. voice is hard to keep up. All right, so <laughs> stop it. Sign one of your unused you stop it. agents to a building in Builder's Hall. You immediately use the effect of that building as though you controlled it. Now, so what this means is that's right. Ooh. Put it on one of those buildings and use its power. You don't get that building, you don't buy that building, you don't get the victory points, you just get to use whatever power is listed there. But does that lock so, us out of buying buildings? No, no because it's the, that that meeple's position for is still open in it. Gotcha. So I just put them here, right, and I get these. You get to you you get to use it as if it mm -hmm. were built. So you get one white and two black. But, right, you get the. Do power. I get these victory no, points? No, you or... don't. No, you don't. No. You All right. Build it. Yeah, it's a cool card though. The one white, two black. And of course, you get to reposition that uh, meeple later. So that's cool too. Excellent. All right, so my turn. Yep. I am going to buy a building. Sweet. You you are the building buyer, you two. Well, I got all this gold. I got to do something with it. Uh... This thief has acquired too much gold. That, wait, is that four? Do I have more than four here? Hang on. Let's just do it one at a time. Stop Count it. Count your shekel, sir thief. Why won't they break apart? What's going on here? There we go. What are you doing, you fool? One. Yeah, that was way more than four. Two. Three. And four. These and roads I did not learn how to count. Get three victory points. Cool. And just go ahead and, and uh, this card. Count your victory points on the board. I don't know why now. it did that, but okay. All right, I'll put the thing in. One, two, and now I have five. <clears throat> Let me put a building card. Ooh, that's a cheap one too, boys. Yeah, but you're kind of in the way. Now, you guys <laughs> haven't completed any quest yet, huh? Correct. I'm getting there. Uh, I have. Oh, and I have to put a uh, when purchased. Place a purple on this space. There you go. All right, let me see. Let me see this card he put out here real quick, guys. Uh, when purchased, start uh, start of round, place one on this space. Uh, when you go on that space, you take all the purple that are on that space. So therefore, and the owner gets an entry card, which is pretty cool. Uh, so therefore, each round, this is going to build up and build up. So if no one uses this over three rounds, for instance, there would be three purple on it. That's how that works. It's really That's cool. Right. <clears throat> All right, my turn. Well, uh, as you guys see what I'm doing over here, I definitely need purple, don't I? Uh, and I don't have enough, but I also need gold. Uh, so I think I'm going to grab the gold because there are a couple options to get that purple. I'm going to grab the gold first. Uh, so I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to place on this spot, which simply gives me gold. Go ahead, Booster. Hmm. My turn. I will complete a quest. El Duggery raid on the Under Mountain. Oof. Will mount an expedition into the dangerous depths of the Under Mountain, and untold riches will be ours. <laughs> wow, that's a big one, too. 
Uh, where is that? One here. cleric. You, Two wow, fighters. You have everything you need to do that. Well, that Four absolute. rogues. And one wizard. We have completed Jack, this quest, Sir that's Chester. A, that's a good one. So you get 20 victory that points and 2 gold. That is 20 points. All right. 2 gold. <laughs> All right. So he this goes in uh what 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 was happening here? Uh this goes into here. Like that. And uh of course he's got to pay. He's got to get his 2 gold and he's going to get his 20 points, which puts him way up here nice. in the lead. Best ah! All right. You my underestimate turn? the city god. <laughs> Fool. My, it's my turn, yes? Mm -hmm. I want that first player token. And okay. I want an entry card. So I'll put so my guy there. Take the first. Uh, you get an entry card. That's right. And you get uh, the first player token as well. Grab it. There you go. All right. How Done. do you do that? How do you get uh, the first my player? My turn. Uh, well, you guys can see very clearly I need a purple, right? Uh, so I'm going to get a purple. And no one has taken this yet. I could do this, but this is going to give Thunder another entry card. I don't, I don't want to do that. Uh, so let me come over here, and I'm going to take a purple for myself. All right. Just for himself. For myself. All right. Go ahead, Booster. You have anything left to do over there? You don't. Hmm. You have one. I have one. I have three meeples I can still move around, Chester. You have one meeple well, you, have you can two. still move around. I don't know what you're can talking I, about. Can I move this one from no, Water do Deep not Harbor? Touch. I, not I'm, yet. I'm going to have to <laughs> slap him in the head. The, Later, at the end of the tavern, tavern, you can do that. Slap my one. bottom. That, there you take go. these two fighters for a quest. Sweet. All right. All right. Let now, I, I need... Oh, what do I need? Let's see... I am going to. So if I play it on my own, do I also get the gold from it? No. Like on my one? Okay, only no. if somebody else does. That's right. The owner thing only works when someone else uses it. Yeah. All right. Well, then I am going to. Since Chester played where I was going to play. I'm going to play there. What's the, right. what's the ambassador? Get, get the right. white. So now it's my turn. Now, of course, I don't have any agents. Uh, but on your turn, you could do one or two things. You could place, an, uh, place a meeple, or you can finish a card. Well, I'm going to finish a card. Uh, this one right here, uh, research uh, uh, chronomancy. Time magic has unlimited potential. Yes, it does. Uh, so that's going to cost me two purple, so I'm going to throw those over here. And I'm going to pay my four gold as well. Which I think I can just do like this, right? No, I can't. I'll do like that. Yes. Pick them up, and I'm going to drop them over here. Is that working? Yeah, it does. All right. Uh, so this is going to go into my completed area. Uh, it's not a plot quest, so it doesn't go on the other side. All right. Uh, but uh, this uh, gives me, as you see here, four reward, uh, four victory. It's not a lot. Uh, but it does a couple of really cool things. So let me do my uh, four first. So, so I got <clears throat> one, a two, a three, and a four, which puts me two away from the booster. Uh, but it also lets me take one purple back. So I'm going to take one purple back. And it lets me take one of my agents back. So which one do I want to take back? Hmm. I'm the only person who has an agent right now. So I would be able to make that choice immediately. Do I want another purple? Do I want to do this for booster? Um, see, this is not necessarily a card I want to finish, but I could finish it. Matter of fact, I probably want to pick up a black. But are there Just any a, black? What is the ambassador? Up? Huh? Oh, there are there are these two uh, little meeples over here, and there's certain cards and or buildings that'll let you to take that, uh, but they're not in play yet. So we'll wait. Have to wait until they come out. There's entry cards that let you do that. <clears throat> um, let me see here. Well, I do have an agent, so I think the smartest thing for me to do would be to do this. I'm going to take this. Uh, ooh, do I want to do that? I'm going to take it off of here. And I'm going to put this into the harbor, which lets me play an a entry card. And uh, so I'm going to play this one. Cool. Okay. And this lets me take two uh, um, fighters, you know, orange uh, uh, blocks here. But of course, I get three <coughs> because, you know, I have the uh, your reward. I have my special card in play. So I'm going to put this over here. 
I get three, but it also allows me, <clears throat> or forces me, I would say, uh, to give one of these guys one too. Uh, so let me see here. Let's see what uh, Thundar is working on. Ooh, he needs a lot of orange. So obviously, boom, it's not going there. Um, <laughs> he needs it too, and he's but he already has it, so it's less painful for me. Uh, so booster, take an orange. Oh, hey, oh, thank you. All right, and then I am done. Oh, thank you. Now booster can't do anything. Like uh, Thundero. Uh, now okay. he can move his one out of the harbor, or he could. I want to move quest. him here. Well, no, hold on a second. No, Don't you can't move that. that one. Please put it back. You, you told me. Stop you told me I could move this one. You told me I could move this one. I did not tell no, you the that harbor time. one. I this did one. Not. Oh, you can't oh my move. god! You no, told me I couldn't move that one. You told me I could move this Please. one. You were confusing me. <laughs> Booster. <laughs> Booster. First off, Booster, can you finish a quest? No. So pass, please. Thunder, I will can, pass my Can time. you uh, finish a quest? I cannot finish a quest. All right. No. Uh, can I finish a quest? No, I can't. Ooh, can I? No, I'm still one away uh, on that. So now what we do is we go into this final thing. Now, Booster, you are first. So come over here to the harbor where you see me hovering. Pick Not it up. this one. No, I can you move this one. This one. And put Take it somewhere else. This. You gotta take gold. Okay. I will take gold. All right. Okay. And then I go. Uh, I don't have any options, do I? <laughs> I'm coming over Not here. Really? Because you have to play the. Well, meeple, thank you by for the way. gold. You can't pass. Uh, you get two gold. I get a white, and I get to take a face-up quest. Hmm. Uh, so let me get my white. Uh, I got a bunch of those here. Let me come over here to this quest and see which one I want. No. No. No, definitely no. And, uh, well, that's kind of the only choice, isn't it? So, I'll take this one. All right. Is that round done? Yep. So, let me uh, go here. Uh, yeah, go ahead and take all your meeples back. I Require more meeples. All right. Okay, so now I go first because I have the thing. We need to put a wizard here. Start of each round. Do we uh, put these VPs on these now? Yes. Yep. So one, one on each. each. Yeah. So okay. That, so now uh, this has two wizards, two wizards. So I <clears throat> am going to take them. Sweet. Bop. One. Hmm. Two. So now it's my turn. Now, where's my strategy here? See, I don't really... I'm not really doing the things I should be, right? Because I want commerce and warfare, and I'm doing not those things. Um, this is a commerce. It should, uh. See, that kind of sucks. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to I'm gonna try it out. I'm going to gamble a little bit. I'm going to come over here. Gamble. I'm, going to, I'm going to play this on this right here. I'm going to throw and all these wipes. away. Yeah. Fool! Okay, and I'm going to replace them. Hopefully I get something I want. And I'm not There's doing a, a good job at all. It's very ugly. Okay, two commerce. I get to I get and to choose there. one of these now. Uh, see, this one wouldn't be bad. This is something I need too. Uh, this one right here, this is not bad. I could use this too. Because oh, that's not, I think I'll have to do that one. Um, this is not bad either. A lot of stuff here for me. Don't need that. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm going to take this one. Yep, I'm going to take this one. Can you finish two quests in one turn? No, but you could you could is just that... do the next turn. Yeah. That's yeah. too much questing for one man. This guy. Go ahead, Booster. Booster's turn. Hmm. I will acquire this building with my coin. Oh. Which building? I'll spend eight coin. Oh Power. shit, I think I put it in here. The Tower of Luck. <laughs> <laughs> you put it in the fight. You just threw it at threw it at the fighters. Here you go, guys. 
<laughs> Here, fight it. <laughs> I will put the coin where it's supposed to be. Oh, <laughs> sweet. That's Three funny. VP for me. Hmm. One building. Owned by guys, a Sith uh, God. What do you guys think watching this game uh, be played out? It's a fun game, man. Uh, yeah, I like it. It's pretty good. All right, now I have a decision to make. Yeah, lots of decisions in this game. Do I help oh, Booster and another... also Building? or do I just get yeah, I'll take it. Oh, the quest or do it? You do it. You do it. You go oh, I'll do it. Yeah. Sorry. I think we have to just let Booster just help Booster. It's okay. Yeah. Ah! Booster choose uh, All right. So I get two yeah. fighters oh, and a me. wizard. And now can I complete a quest now even though I moved my no, guy? No, you have That's to on your no? turn you could do one or okay. two things. Place a meeple or finish a quest. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, well, next turn, that's what I'm doing. One of them's getting finished. <laughs> that sounded dirty. <laughs> that sounded dirty. Sweet. Chest, Wait, I, I believe it is your move. Hmm. All right. And Booster, to get the first player token, you play it on uh, Castle Waterdeep. And that's how you get it. I see. Now I am going to go to the Waterdeep Harbor. I'm going to play an intrigue card. Uh oh, he's going to. What happened me. to our intrigue cards? Oh, here they are. Sorry, I'm a little off center on the board. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Assign one of your unused. Now, to what this does is, uh, yeah, exactly. So I'm going to take the other guy here. I'm going to put him in the hall, and I'm going to put him right here, and use this. And what that does is let me take the ambassador this guy and i get to use him next round now unfortunately uh well the good thing is is, is uh, uh no one else gets to use it after because that building's not built but i do get to use this next round so this uh, what am i doing so this doesn't actually count i can't use so i'm going to leave it off the board i can't use it this this turn uh but next turn i'm going to start with more meeples uh, hmm. i'm done go ahead cool. booster <clears throat> all right i will but my guy here, I can put it on my own building, right? Yeah, I did. Beautiful. So that gives me two blacks and one white. But you don't get the owner bonus, though, is all. Right. That's fine. My turn? And I end my turn. Yeah, go ahead. I am going to complete this quest for 25 victory points. Uh, Sweet. Five wizards and two gold. One, two, three, four, five... And one. Read the quest out. I will in just a second. And the quest is infiltrate Halister's circle. Get in there and find out who Halister Black Cloak, the Mad Wizard of Undermountain, or what he's up to. Mm -hmm. it requires five wizards and two gold, and the reward is twenty-five victory points. Sweetness, Woo! sweetness. Yeah, twenty-five. Dude. So I go from five to thirty. Yes, you do. And in the last place. <laughs> uh, now it's my turn. Uh, I cannot finish any of my quest here. I do not have what I need to do that. Uh, so I am done. And I have no agent, so I am done. Now go ahead, Booster. I shall acquire coin. I will go to Aurora's Realm Shop, and I will get their coin. Spectacular. Give me gold. Sir Shopkeeper. Go ahead, Thunder. This is protection fees for the city. I am going lady. to complete another quest. And that is Quell Mercenary Uprising requires one cleric and... Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, yep, yep, I can. And four warriors or fighters, whatever they're called. And my reward is eight victory points, and it's a plot quest, so whenever yep. I complete a warfare quest, I get two victory points. That's so right. I keep so keep that over here. No, oh, you actually crap. put it on the other side of the board. Right above your uh, red sash, uh, there oh, you right go, here? right there. Yeah, but gotcha. yeah, there you go. Um, so go ahead and get so your all my loot. all my guys are gone. Hang on, maybe if it'll stop arguing. Come here. <laughs> no, we'll just do it two at a time since it wants to argue. Bloop. The city of Waterdeep. Look at it all laid out there. All the streets. And it's a really nice map, actually. Taken from the one from the Forgotten Realms 3rd edition, I believe. Um, and 38. It's got the harbor. It's look, really cool, too. Look at that. Just growing. 
all right, and you put yourself up, and that's cool. You got yourself a uh, a plot quest, so that gives you um, uh, gives you some bonuses. So really, hack on those war uh, warfare ones, right? Both mm-hmm. plot quest. I'm I have nothing to do, so go ahead, booster. It's one that right. says plot on the bottom. I... It says it on the bottom. Mm-hmm. I will complete this quest. I will perform the penance of duty. Yes. Tom's worshippers are required to guard the Temple of Deity and their order persecuted in the past. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> so even though it requires two whites and uh, two oranges, the reward so, is one who white and one orange, so I only need to yeah, just pay drop one, one of it. Yeah, and the gold, of course. And the gold, of course! As soon as I get that. And what is that... It gives me that gives me twelve points. Yeah, nice. I'm falling behind, guys. Oh, poor little sad me sitting over there. All right, go ahead, Thunder. <laughs> yeah, but you got a you got a bunch of quests. I have one. Oh, uh, what do I want to do? That's true. Uh, oh, what shall I do? You got I there. think so. I need. I think I need some quest cards sure we're gonna go right huh we're gonna take this arcana quest okay and i also get an entry card yes that's right uh an entry card flip it over what is it all right oh. it, comes, it comes back to me and i'm still passed booster can you uh play an agent or complete a quest i can play this agent I can get a quest and two gold. Yep. This boy's just hoarding the gold now. I want, I want all this gold. <laughs> all your gold. Keep in mind that at the end of the game, each um, you know, uh, adventurer you have in your tavern is worth one victory point, and every two gold is worth one. So it doesn't Ooh. mean that's I'm not saying you should play that way, uh, but at the end of the game you do you are getting some points for that stuff. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. You done, Booster? All right. Well, Thundero, are you passing? It is. Uh, mm, yeah, I can't do anything right now, but then after I can move my guy. Sure. I pass. I can play a quest. You can finish a quest. I can play a quest. <sighs> Spy on the House of Light. <laughs> Find out what the Guild of Ch- Chandlers and the land lights is up to the guild of Ch- chandlers like from france chandlers are they're the people that make those kind of uh, things for oh, lights no. and stuff like that chandlers we will spy on the chandlers and see what they are up to it will acquire three fighters two rogues and two coin that's an expensive quest for only six he gets a ton of gold dude Six. I will spend this oh, yeah. coin oh, and acquire more. You get six coins. I power. wish for more gold. So take a moon and then one of the squares. He uh-huh. might actually have more gold than me now. Oh, no, he doesn't. Let's not get crazy. Let's not get crazy. Let's not get crazy. All right. <laughs> yeah, you're passing, of I course. I'm right. passing, of course. Back to Booster. <clears throat> you passing? Booster, are you are you complete, sir? Hmm, let me see. Yes, I am complete for now. All right. So, therefore, we come into the uh, harbor. Uh, I'm the only one here, I guess. So, I'm going to pick up a move. What do I want? I know what I want. Um, Yeah, I got to work on that one. So, what do I need? I need this one over here. Can I get it, though? Oh, I can. Look at that. I'm going to come here and I'm going to get two black. Since I'm the only person on the harbor, that ends the uh, turn. Oh, correct. Okay. So take back your peeps. Take back your peeps. Now, we're coming to round five here, and this is a little bit special, so uh, hold your horses for a second. All I'm right. I'm going to put the purple uh, on this building. I'm going to put, of course, collect all my agents, uh, the three I have, as usual. Now, um... And, of course, I also uh, picked up the uh, ambassador, so he goes on to my board. Now, this is what happens. Uh, go ahead. Did you, yeah, go ahead and put those out there. 
good, good. But now because this is round five, it's a special round. So you see down here at the bottom of the board, it has all the meeples. We'll take the one that's your color and add it to your pool. Oh, so now you have four sexful. to use. Have more Very meeples. Sexy. So it's kind of representing you getting more and more power. Hmm. So the cobblers are conspiring with the tanners to uh, smite the silversmiths. I agree, Bill. I agree. <laughs> yes, and they all wish to know what the Chandlers are up to. All right, well, uh, Those freaking Chandlers. Thundara is still Could holding the first player, so he goes first. It is still me who goes first. I That's love right. it. I love everything about it. I love everything. About okay, it. let's look at everybody's quotes. Oh no, hold on a second. I'm sorry. I'm who? sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, I, I do apologize. I have the ambassador, uh, which means I go first no matter what. Oh, that's some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I do apologize, dude. I do apologize. But, but no, it requires me to place the agent. I can't complete a quest first. I must place an agent first. Uh, gotcha. But I, I know I'm going to do that. So maybe I should. I got those. Uh, maybe I should do this. Um, there's only one on this. Uh, one purple over here, huh? Yep. <laughs> So now do you keep the ambassador or do you just get it for one no, round? No, no, one round. Now normally the building would gotcha. be out and then anybody who went there could would get it for the next round. Uh, but I just mm -hmm. used that uh, entry card to make that happen. So I'm just taking four gold with gotcha. that. So go ahead, uh, uh, Thunder. Then so I go to, now? Yeah, yeah I it should... goes back to gotcha. normal, normal sequence. You know what? Hmm. How many victory points are on there? Three... Do I want to buy it? <clears throat> I need I get those. You know what? We'll think about that later. For now, we're gonna put this in the old harbor. We're gonna play this particular entry card. Now mm, see I have a question about one of my cards. Mm -hmm. Can I show it to you and then can you tell me? Sure. It looks to me like this one. I'm not playing it. I just want you to see it. This mm -hmm. one right here. Does that mean we all get? I get to pick two of whatever I want, and you guys get to pick one, or do I pick which one everybody gets? Uh, you take two of whatever you want from the supply and place them in your tavern. Mm -hmm. Each opponent takes one of whatever they want from the supply and takes it okay. and puts it in his tavern. So you get to and choose. I don't want to play. We? You get two. We I get one. Play that one. I want to play. I want to play this one where I get two of the beautiful wizards and. You get to choose one who, of us. Who gets the other wizard? Not Booster. No, oh, I want the wizard. I will uh, help out my boy Chester. I will allow him to. Oh, thank you. Betrayal. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's way behind on score. I <laughs> compared am. to us. So <clears throat> I figured it's safer yeah. to let him have it than let you have it. Yeah, true. Mm. Uh, oh, look Look at his little uh, guild he's got going on, though. He's, uh... I know. He's pretty full over there. He's about to yeah. blow through quests like nobody's pissed at. Yeah. That's all right. So am I. It's my turn. It is. I will spend some coin. Uh-oh. He's buying a building. I am buying a building. Oh, wait. No. Because I... I, I, I to buy this, it only costs three gold, and I get two victory points for that. So I will move on ahead, and I end my turn. All right, done there. All right, so it's my turn. Mm, decisions, decisions. All right, what do I need to complete this quest? I need a fighter and a white. 13 and an entry card. I have two wizards. And there's no way for me to get a fighter and a white. Well, I, well, yes, there is. Now, on that card I showed you, do I have to take two of the same, or can I take one of each color? The utility card. Um. Oh, this the you talk about the entry card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that's it just says utility on it. So yeah. Yeah. But can I do I take two of the same color? Or it has I take to one be the same. Color? Yeah. That, that was one of the few okay. facts that FAQs that came out. It has to be the same. Yeah. Okay. Then I don't want to play that. All right. So then what I am going to do is do something just completely crazy. Oh, just go crazy. Madman. 
I'm going to do absolute mad things like a madman and just put it right here and take a white. He's taking the whites. I'm taking all the whites. It is your turn, Chester. Well, I'm going to finish the quest. And I'm going to finish this one first. Oh, I would sure hope so with all those guys. So what, we, went, we went counterclockwise for a second. We're going back to clockwise? Well, he had the ambassador, so he went first, and then it reverts back yeah, to me because I just, had the token. It's because I had the ambassador. Oh, That's what the ambassador lets you do. But next turn, unless somebody takes the token it's from you. me, I will yeah, go first. Yeah, 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 that's right. Uh, well, I'm sorry. Pay attention. Well, yeah, one of each. Room. Okay. Which one are you completing over here? What are you doing? And a black. Oh, this uh, one. But then I get to keep it, so I get I get four. So I'll just take them over here now. Three more. Spectacular. All right. And I get uh, nine points. Oh, I got to pay my gold too. Nine points. He's catching up. You can go ahead and mark me off if you like. All right. So you should have twenty-eight. Go ahead, Booster. He's. Mm -hmm. I will pay more coin to get all the VP from here oh, and build another building. This guy. Oh, he wants that ambassador, huh? Mm -hmm. all right, and also, if. You can uh, land on this and take the ambassador if you like, but it gives me uh, more uh, victory points. Okay. Uh, now, hold on a second, Booster. You're, you know, you're killing me, dude. Where's your agent? <laughs> Where is your agent? Yeah, didn't you already build a building this go around? <laughs> oh, I am so... <laughs> I am an idiot. Put, so put, it put it back. Put back. everything back. Oh, my Kiwis. Back. <laughs> Yes, put those three back, yes. Oh, my okay. God. And do something else. <sighs> okay, I can't do that, then. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, how much coin did I have? I had, like... Uh, yeah, did, did you have a meeple that was supposed to be sitting somewhere else as well? No. Are you sure? I am 100% certain. All right. Please always move the agent to where it needs to go, okay? Stupid, give me a break. Well. <laughs> All right. Uh, Are you done messing up yet or what? Yeah, Tyrants no, of I'm the Underdark is pretty good, though. <laughs> uh, that lets me pick a mystery one, so I pick a white and two coins. Okay. Yep. It is now my turn. Yes, then. Oh, finally. That took forever. All oh, right. Now. <laughs> all right i'm just gonna go with the simple easy direct way of acquiring the fighters that i need i don't know why there's one loose fighter just laying there but we'll put him back in this pile he's a rogue he's a ronin um, uh, my turn i'm gonna and two. one of these i'm gonna come over here mm. are you rubbing your hands all excited Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm going about to take this. I'm taking that. Thank <laughs> you very much, sir. You prick. <laughs> That's all right. I didn't need it anymore anyway. I was you, done with it. Oh, I find And I get an entry card as well. <laughs> Go ahead, mister. Okay. All right. I'm thinking. I'm thinking very hard. Booster, put it right here. And I will complete board. this quest. Two wow. clerks That's a and cheap a one for 10. What is it? And you get a quest from the end. All right, read off the card. Which would yeah. you finish? This is to form an alliance with the Rashimi. Rashimi. An a lot. A alliance with the berserkers of Rashimi might hinder the dark works of the Red Wizards. <gasps> the Red Wizards. Yes. The Red Wizards of Thay. Mm -hmm. Put that here, I get <laughs> ten points and a new quest. Are you going to move your guy your 10 points, or are you just going to sit there and look at it? I'm thinking about questing. <laughs> now, this is different. This is a different card, Booster. You're not taking one of the face-ups. You're taking a random one off the top. There, there you go. go. Yep. There you go. I make my decision way easier. It, in a okay. Way. My turn. Yep. I am also no. completing a quest. And that is one, two wizards. One wizard. 
two wizards, a fighter, and a cleric. Fighter. Well, oh, well, just one fighter, right? Yeah. And the cleric. And this quest is investigate aberrant infestation. Rumors of beholders and foul spawn in the sewers have the citizenry on edge. It rewards me 13 points and an intrigue card. Sweet. Yeah, you keep putting them in the uh, wrong place. It goes over here on your quest card. I don't know why. No, it keeps snapping it over there. Uh, you got to back up a little bit. Yeah. It would be easier yeah. if they were upside mm -hmm. down so I could, we could. Well, it's all right. It doesn't matter. It's all right. It's all right. All right. All right. And what else did you get for that? An entry card. Sweet. All right, my turn. I'm going to play over here. I'm going to take a quest. I can flip them over. It's not a big oh. deal. Bam. Uh, it's just if I want to show them to everyone who's watching, you know. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, Booster. Hmm. Ooh, this is nasty. Oh, I would like, like to take a purple. A purple. Then do so. And I end my turn. My turn. All right. Well, I need some quests because I have none besides this one that I don't like. So I will do that. I don't need more gold. I will do this. That Just resets them all, away all of and reset these. Them. Yep. Yeah. Oh, come on, game. Really? <laughs> Knock it off. <laughs> come on, game. Sweet. Get over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. And then I get to choose one, yes? That's right. Or do I get a random one? No, you choose one. Well, I want that one. All right. That one looks simple enough. All right, so my turn. Sorry. Whoa, stop it, game. Just stop it, all right? Uh, all right, here we go. I'm going to play one of my Harper agents. I'm going to play it over here on the uh, Harbor. I'm going to play a card. I'm going to play this one. Uh-oh. Watch out. Ooh, nice. All right. Who would you like to have a white token? And uh, this is Good Faith. Uh, play Water Deep Harbor, of course. Uh, take two white from the supply and then uh, place them in your tavern and give one to someone else. Uh, let me see who I want to have that white. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, well, it wouldn't doesn't look like it really matters either way. Oh, it does matter over there. Uh, yeah, it does matter over here. No, I will give <laughs> no, no. one to Thundero. I will give one to Thundero. Ah, yeah! I wanted it. You prick. I'll I'm take sorry. it. Yeah. It's Go fine. Ahead, it's fine. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's I'm fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's fine. fine. It's okay. It's fine. Go ahead, Booster. <laughs> One white and two blacks. Did you place your agent? I did place my agent. You weren't watching. Okay, because you usually forget. You know, just checking. I, I do nothing of the sort. I don't even know what you're talking about. Thundero? <laughs> it is, I have no things. And yeah, I can't complete a quest. So you're I You're done. Okay. Yes. Uh, me, I'm going to bring this over here. I'm going to put this in uh, Waterdeep Harbor. Uh-oh. He's going to play another entry card on us. I am. Oh, yeah. my gosh. I take four gold. I want the gold. Let me have it. And uh, the booster can have the gold. Ew, prick. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm like... So, hooray. Thank you. Go ahead, booster. We still have more. Oh, no, we have it. We're tied now. He has it. We're tied in gold. Mm. Booster. I am out of meeples, and I don't believe I can finish a quest. So I shall pass. So and I also pa pass. You also pass. My turn. All right. Let me see. Which one do I want to do first? You've got to um, be able to complete a quest. Look at all those guys. Oh, I I can. I can complete many of them. I'm prepared. All right. Let me uh, let me finish this warfare one here first. Um, I'm going to put this over here. None of these are plot quests, right? No. Okay, I'm going to put this over here. And uh, that requires 
Three orange, Eight points. a black, and a white. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. You can point me up, please. Eight points. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Make sure I count it right. Uh, right. And that's uh, that gives me eight points and four gold. Thank you very much. So I'll take one of these gold, put it back, and I'll just take one of the big ones. Okay. And Booster, we know, can't move his guys out of the harbor because he doesn't have any guys in the harbor. Yep. No, hold on. You're, Booster's a pass. You're a pass. So I'm going to finish another quest. Right. Oh, this guy. <laughs> I'm going to finish this one. <clears throat> How many is that worth? Eleven. Mm -hmm. Eleven. And I have to pay two white, uh, which I have. Oh, I missed. There you go. Oh, he's right on our butt now. And uh, two orange and a black, right? So I take one of my black over here. And two orange. Sweetness. Yeah, I did have a plan, just so you know. <laughs> it wasn't all random. -like. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something very naughty to Booster next turn. Did you give me my? Uh, did you give me my points? I did. Okay. You are right uh, behind me now. And, very good. And then, of course, Booster oh. passes. You passed. Then I finish this one. Oh, this guy. Oh my God. Another eleven. Oh, I actually. Oh my I God. To get my gold. Hold on, I gotta put this back. So and I go get, to uh, one of these. fifty-nine. Chester has taken the lead in one turn. Brilliant mm -hmm. play. And I get four more gold, so I'm going to put this one back and get another one of those. You gave and now me my he has points. all of the gold. You took my. Yep. You took care of my points. You are at fifty-nine points, Sweet, sir. Sweet dude, thank you. Uh, and of course, I got to put these two orange back. Damn it. Well, damn it. Go in there. No rogueness. <laughs> Right, uh, and a black. Uh, you can go ahead uh, because I can't do anything else. So you can go ahead and play your red guy in the uh, water deep harbor. Yeah. Okay, that is what I shall do. Okay, sweet. I don't have much left though. But... I am going to play it on my own building and take another white guy. And I also get. A quest. Sweet. All right, now uh, you're done with that. I could go over and get another quest, and you know, well, matter of fact, that would be the smart thing to do, and I'm going to do that. All righty. So, what do you guys think over in the chat? You liking this game? Is it cool? Take my guy over here, put it here. Get to choose a quest and get two coins. Sweetness. I'll take that two coin right away. My goodness, he's racking up the coin out of nowhere. Yeah, you want to stop it? It's annoying, <laughs> man. All right, I get to choose a quest Hell, man. Uh, oh, my God. No, no. It say this is like his favorite game, so I think we're kind of screwed from the get-go. <laughs> yeah, I think this is rigged from the start. Uh, it's I'm rigged. Going to, I'm going to take this one right here. Uh, so. Now, even though technically I can finish this quest, I can't because we're already past that in, into Waterdeep Harbor. So I can't actually. Oh, yes. I can't do finish anyway. But if there was a case where that that doesn't work like that, so uh, and then I get to move the last one here. So what do I want to do? I could grab some. Uh, I could grab this over here. Oh, let me place this. All right. Hmm. Not many choices, huh? Matter of fact, I think I have a choice, which is this one. So booster, choose an orange or a uh, purple. Oh, I get to choose? Yes, you do. And I get a purple. And uh, three orange. I will take these purples. Hmm. All right. Well, that is the end of that, guys. And uh, so that take round. your meeples back. And this ambassador goes on. The ambassador has been built, right? Yep. N where where is it? it? Hmm? Oh no, he no, didn't no. build it because he, he was didn't build to it. Cheat. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I was, I was accidentally cheating on, on purpose. The ambassador goes uh, <laughs> off the board. Then he goes back back to hell. 
Send him back to hell. Back to hell. <laughs> back to hell. <laughs> Put these here. You fool. You foolish fool. And Chester gets to go first because he stole my thing. I do. I do. In fairness, I stole it first. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, usually we would do something random to choose who it went anyway. I just went to demonstrate. So, all right, it's my turn. Well, you know what? I have myself quite a bit of money. So it might be benefit me to do something like that. Oh. Uh, did we set the coin up? We did. Excellent. You guys are good. Good job. Uh, let me see if this is more. Uh, choose a space containing an opponent's meeple. You use that space's action as though it had been assigned. That's kind of cool. Uh, this one over here is just stuff. And it's in the skulk way. That's pretty cool. But no, I'm going to do the ambassador. I'm going to get it on the board. Uh, so. That's good if anyone wants to take it, uh, they have to pay you two mastery points. Or whatever. Well, victory points. Yes, I know. Uh, there mm. are four here. Could you give me uh, four points, please? I want to. I can. Where are you? I don't want to give you any points. Okay. <laughs> and I did play that wrong next round, last uh, last uh, round. By the way, it isn't turn; it's round. <laughs> so uh, I'm building this though. Put this over here. All right. I take one of my thingies, put my thingy on it, so it has a thingy on it. No, it has a thingy on it. has a thingy Brilliant. on it. He's replacing you that. Just that. Uh, how much do I have to pay for that? Four. Four. Oh, wait, I didn't put the, uh, hang on, I didn't put the thing here. That's got two wizards now. Okay. Um, hasn't that needed that for ages now? We've we been no, updating this. He's been doing I've a pretty good job, but I've been paying attention. Thanks. All right, All right. I. We'll put a boy here. I will take two fighters and who one wizard. Well, gentlemen, my turn. I am going to take my own wizards. Smart Burr. move. Burr. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, my turn. Uh, I'm going to come over and I'm going to... Uh... Hold on a second. Am I, am I screwing this up? Take the ambassador. At the start of the next round, you assign the ambassador before any other player's turn. Um, so if you're not first, da, da, da. I don't know if I'm playing that right. I think it yeah, is you are. the way. I think it is, yeah. So I could yeah, go there right. and have it. Uh, so basically on the last round, it's kind of useless thing, yeah, which makes sense. So yep. Ambassadors are kind of useless at the last moment, I guess. Um, hmm. Do I want to have a big round next round? I think I do. So I'm going to play this here, and I'm going to put this on the side for round seven. Go ahead, Booster. All right. I will place a boy here. I want to take this quest, and I get to take a entry guy. And, that means so and I my, end my turn. My turn. And I mm. cannot... Well, I could finish this... Oh, do I want to finish that, though, or do I want to hamper Chester? I want to hamper Chester. So we're going to put <laughs> this guy in the old harbor, and we're going to play this utility card, or entry card. Why do I keep calling him utility? We're going to give that to old Chester, which means he has to finish oh, yeah. this mission before now, he can do anything else. That's right. This is a mandatory quest, guys, uh, for everyone who's interested. Hmm. Um, and this is our Repel Draw Invaders. Um, small bands of dark elves continue to emerge from the Underdark to harass the city. Uh, now, a mandatory quest is very simple. I have to do this before anything else. I do get a reward, but it's just kind of a pain <laughs> in the butt, you know? Yes. Are you done? It's a very small reward. Yeah, that's all I I mean, that's pretty much what I can do, right? Just play that's an entry card. Cool. That's pretty cruel. Cool. It is cruel. Uh, but I'm going to finish it right now. Uh, so, uh, I can't finish right now. Oh, you bastard. Um, <laughs> I thought I had more black than that. I guess I don't. No, you can. Uh, yeah, you do. You got two black right here. There's one right here. Oh, yeah. I thought I did. Okay. Yeah. As it's two black and a white, right? Uh, all yep. right. Well, I will finish it then. So, I'll put that back. All important cleric. And the one cleric I have, right? Ha <laughs> ha. But and, he does get uh, two points for it, so. It's not all bad. 
Yeah, but it's just to slow you down. Wait. You know, take re suck resources out of you, you know? Right. All right. And this Your is a mandatory, by the way. Uh, so it doesn't have anything like arcane or piety or anything like that. So you just throw it back in the intrigue discard. It doesn't count toward the end of My the turn? game. So. Yeah, go ahead. Yep. All right. Fling him in. He's keeps playing Hitting. his own shit. Yep. One of these, two of these, and that's me. All right. Well, I am going to complete this quest to protect the House of Wonder. Two whites, a fighter, and two gold. Defending Miss Mistra's temple demonstrates devotion. And it is a piety quest. Yeah, it is. You gotta protect Mistra, of course. She's the she's the mother of magic, right? Where do you what do you do? Uh, oh, wait, Why no, is I that going it. over there? What's I don't know. On? I don't know. There is we that go. a plot quest? All right. It, was... it is. Oh yeah, it is your plot, plot quest. quest what am I doing? Over here. All right. All right. Yeah, let me just put it right here. But... All right, and that gives oh, okay. you okay, okay. whenever you complete a piety quest, you score two uh, two points. And remember, this one is doing okay. the same thing for warfare, right? So now I have to, what was it? Two whites and an orange. Two whites and two gold. What is a pain in the ass, huh? Okay, I got it. Two whites, orange, and two hmm. gold. What am I going to do now? Um, and I got eight points from that. Well. Bam. Bam. Well, Booster is a pain in the ass. What? What did I do? <laughs> what gonna, did I, I do? him in some way. I'm going to come over here and grab a quest. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> this would be nice for me, but boy, is that expensive. Mm, but it's, oh, it's zero point reward, but uh, add the lieutenant to your pool for the rest of the game. See, this one is one you want to get early. Oh, uh, harsh. I could do that though, but I mean, I I can't. I could do that. Ooh, that's a choice. That's a choice. Skull I don't need this crap. Don't need that crap. Don't need that crap. Oh, oh I gotta try it. I gotta take it. I gotta take it. What's All the right. lieutenant? What is the lieutenant? He's another free meeple. I have the ambassador over here right now, right? Oh my god! But he oh stays in your pool permanently, gonna... right? Oh, oh man! Uh, and I get two gold for that. But uh, go ahead, booster. Uh, yeah, I think play as well. the whole the whole uh, the whole brain thinking right now. Give me a second, will you? <laughs> what thinking should be automatic, booster? And just make sure he's putting his meeples out. He is. Yeah, I guess he all I guess kinds he of that quests out. to complete, sir. Why aren't you completing these quests? What are you waiting for? I will complete quests when I am damn well ready, sir. <laughs> This guy. Oh my! Oh my God! I'm getting bullied <laughs> here. That's true. I'm, I'm. I want the first player thing, and oh, I'm playing I... a card. All right. This guy. All right. Bidding war. Draw a quest from the deck equal to the number of players. So I'm going to be drawing three quests. Keep one and pass the remaining to the player. Each player in turn chooses one quest to keep and passes the rest to the left until every player has taken a quest. What you got you... that? Yeah, I got it. Put it down here so I can show everybody. We are taking three so quests. You take, take three, three and then one, you pick the one, one you the want. Narrow, he chooses it, and I get the leftovers. I get the sloppy thirds. You get the you get the mm -hmm. sloppy thirds. I do. Yep. I'm fine mm -hmm. with that. So, Booster, choose one. Thank you. Well, Booster, you don't want to give me a war Warfare Piety if you can avoid it, because if I complete it, I get extra points just for completing. Yeah, well, that's usually secret. But now we know. Yeah, yeah. Well, thanks it's up for... it's right... no, it... no, no, no. It's right here. It's my plot thing. So yeah, but I wasn't paying attention. Now I am. <laughs> it's literally right next to you. You can't miss it. <laughs> yeah, but you forget. I'm retarded. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Thunder. I'll choose one. Oh, sadly, I don't forget. All right, what do we got here? Stop it. All right, let's go to the main commerce. Oh. There you go, Mr. Chester. This one here, right? Yep. Uh, let's see what he gave me. Something I don't need and will never play. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, so my turn. That would be nice to see some of these ones you want to get in the beginning of the game, right? Mm-hmm. My yeah, turn. your turn, Thundero. I shall prepare myself to complete that quest. That is what I shall do. And I shall take not one, but two fighters. Proceed, Mr. Chester. Well, the place I need to go has been taken by someone already whose name is Booster. You suck, Booster. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? I can't get an entry card to play, so I kind of I did play myself out a bit, but I, I had to make that move. So, I mean, you could just you could just come down here and give me two gold. I'll be fine with that. Uh, no, I won't do that. <laughs> uh, no. If you're um, feeling generous, I can take one of the face up though. That could be an option because I do need a white. Let me see here. Oh, no, that's just racist. Hmm. Just straight points. No and no. Hmm. Ooh, I don't like any of those quests. Those are ugly. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... That really sucks. I didn't. Ha I, I played myself out of entry cards, and I don't have a position to take an entry card because of Booster. God. What? I come over here. I'm just going to take two black and be done. Racist. I know. Just taking black. All right. Can I, can I go? <laughs> you can go, dude. You can. Dude. I'm going to do a quest. A quest. Ooh, for Which 20. Uh-oh. Cost three of these. Two of these. 54, so he goes to 74. Four of these. Are you going to read it off? Shoots it into the lead. All right. This is Seal the Gates of the Cyrix Realm. Cyrix, god of strife and deception, uses gates to spread madness. And boy, now... <laughs> and now that is my turn. Once he's done fiddling with his stuff. Hmm. I'm Fiddling with fiddling. it. All right, Lisa, my <laughs> the stream just dropped for a second. Yeah, that was weird. All right, it's cool. It's back. Oops. All right, I shall be completing explore. I'm not even going to try tower. Whenever you take an action or my reward, or sorry, requires a fighter three or two um, wizards and two gold. Reward is six points. And whenever I take an action that provides any. Uh, Wizards, I also draw an entry card. Ah, oh, this is Acheron's tower. Those, dude. Yeah, you're, you're, you're stacking do. up on those, yeah. Right, Sweet. Let me get rid of my stuff. Did it's you get your points? One. No, I did not. Six. Six? Yep. And a fighter. You done? You done? So now, I am done. Hmm. He I, could, I could do this. Now I still have one of my meeples to play. Could do meeples. This, but, um... Hmm. I think I'm going to wait. Go, I pass. Hmm. I can play another qu... Yes, I can! Aha! For four and two wizards. One. Two. Me. One of these, and then this I get be one fun of to these. See boosters uh, to pronounce this one. <laughs> All right, safeguard Ultra Ruckle Mage. <laughs> the Ultra Ruckle Academy of Wizardry requires an escort for one of its prominent. How did you get that that wrong? It's Elterchul, Elterchul, Ultra Ruckle, <laughs> Illiterical. <laughs> Well, go ahead, Booster. Get it done. Get it done. For the love of all, totally. finished. What's the points? He gets two purple, two and four. Did you give him his points already? Yeah. I'll... Huh? I did, yeah. Oh, good. Okay. All right. Yeah, Zombicide I... would be a good game to play, Cat. You're right. Um, it's uh, That's Let's definitely see. visual, and we have access to it, too. There's th literally thousands of board games on here that are free. All you do is spend 20 mm -hmm. bucks to get the Tabletop Simulator. It's awesome. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thundero? Yep. Maybe she's you. going, hint, hint, this is crap to watch. Maybe. <laughs> I don't think so. I think it's a fun game, though. But Zombie Side is fun. Mm -hmm. What you doing, Thundero? So if I play in the, uh, the harbor point. again, I can play my other card, yeah? Yeah, my sure. Entry card? Yeah, you saw me do that last round. I had put two in there. 
yeah, yeah. All right, so we're going to do that. We're going to play the old intrigue card and give everybody a hand. Yay. I get two of whatever I want. You guys get one of whatever you want. Hmm. Okay. Oh, my God, thank you. Oh my, so you're welcome. so nice. You're, like, so welcome? Oh, my God. I oh, want so cute too. Oh two God. blacks. All right, uh, let me see here. I like take anything I want, just anything I want. Someone should have been paying better attention. That was probably a bad move, dude. <laughs> Can we uh, play a quest after you did that? If we uh, didn't have the resources, we're up, not uh, in the harbor what? yet. We're not in the right. harbor yet. So you know what? It's my turn. And although I've been passing, and because we're not in the harbor yet, I'm gonna go. And I'm going to finish this one here, which is a plot quest, of course. Just gives and you the lieutenant. Yes, it does. Uh, this That's one, five. of course, uh, is white and it has five. So, okay. So, one, two, a three, four, and five. Okay, and then it takes one black. And uh, one purple. And of course, the white that I would have just gotten, which I haven't chosen. I didn't even pick it, bother pick it up. All right, <clears throat> so that's done. And when that gives me, uh, what does that give me? That gives me uh, zero points, but I get the lieutenant for the remainder of the game. But in truth, it actually gives me four points. Uh, because it is within my uh, dude's, uh, my lord's um, requirements. So, uh, go ahead, Booster. So, can I do a quest? Or well, nah? Can you? Yeah. 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 If, if you, you have can. a quest. Oh, I can, I can do one. So, yeah, I'm going to do this one. I will study the Illusk Ark. Illusk Ark. Wow. This portal connects Undermountain to Luskin. Mm, it does, indeed. Let me see. Two of these. I have given you your points, sir. This is a plot oh, quest, by the way. Right. Yeah, you can keep that. So this goes over here, Booster. And whenever oh, you finish an arcane from now on, you get an additional two points. Okay. And yeah, make sure none of your quests are plot quests that you finished. But this isn't a plot quest, but oh no. no, no. Yeah, you didn't so... finish that. You gotta wait till you finish it. What are you doing, dude? I'm just I'm sitting through all these things. No, I'm it doesn't sure matter now. Quest. It's after the fact, dude. After oh, the fact. Oh my god. Oh my yes. god. You don't get them retroactively or I'd be killing Jeez, everybody right now. <laughs> Unbelievable. Go ahead, Thunder. Oh, right. I can you are we to the point in the harbor or is, not yet? Can you still because have I still have okay, well, uh, I, people to play. I, just I got pass. One. I pass to you, sir. All right. Well, let me see here. Now what can I do with this meeple? Now I could go over here and grab me a purple. Uh, I could grab me purple. a white, I could grab some more money, but I don't really need money. I could go over here and uh play one of hey, these. Hey, yeah, give me some money. Uh, or hey, I can come over money. here and pick up a new quest, which is hey, what I think I'm course. going to do instead. So I'm going to play this yeah, here. I like that. I don't like any of those quests. I like this. Do it. <laughs> do it! I love where your head's at right I'm now. Just so, how do you receive one? Just do you get to pick them. one? As well? Yes, of course. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. What do we got here? Two warfares. A lot of good stuff from me is what I'm saying. Yeah, baby. Infiltrator. Oh Come on. All right. Dang so it. I can choose this one. It's kind of nice. I can finish that pretty easily, too. This one is all right. I can finish that one fairly easily. Uh, this one right here is a good one for me. Uh, it's a plot quest. It's kind of late. When you buy a building, it's going four, so it's kind of probably wasting yeah. my time. Uh, this right here, no thank you. So, hmm, it's either this one or this one. This one or this one. I think I'll go with this one. All right. Now, Mr. Booster, can you mm -hmm. do anything? I cannot. Nor can I, so we pass back to Chester. Can Chester and... do anything? Chester cannot. Chester passes. So I can move my guys finally. Yes, you can. Darn it. Darn it all. Okay. So I'm putting one here and taking a perp. Maybe. If it'll come here. And then what else do I need? I need a white. 
So I will place it on my own and get a who white and a one face up quest. Ooh, that oh, is nice. Hello. Yeah. Hello, governor. Sweet. I be having you. Hang on, I can get my white. There it is. And is that the round? That's the round. Take him back. Right. Take him back. Only two more until uh, this game is all finished. That's right. It's a little bit slower playing because well, you guys don't know the game. Um, and also, uh, we're playing digitally. I think it slows it down a little bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, am I first or are you first because you have the ambassador? What's going on with us? I am first because I have the ambassador. You are correct. You. And uh, now, I could use the ambassador to assure I have the ambassador for the last round. Or I could use the ambassador to simply take back the first player and get an entry card. <gasps> that sounds like the plan. Well, that would, that would be a prick move, Chester. Don't hurt my feelings. <laughs> that would be a dick move. I, I, uh, I kind of wanted that. I do apologize. I, I, you... Oh, you now, prick. Lucy, you may go. Uh, <laughs> you have been given permission, sir. You have. No, that's cool. I don't mind. <sighs> Just give me a second to uh, figure out what I should be doing. I'm going to go over here to get myself one quest and a two gold. Sweet. Oh, fudge. I did the wrong thing. I'm such a retard. Um, <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. I have to pay but... attention to you every second. <laughs> yes! I'm stupid. Give me the. Give me, give Are me you a done yet? Can I play now? I'm no, ready. I'm reading quests. God. <laughs> hey there, everybody. Hey, everybody in the chat. Midnight Joshua is in here. And I, wow, you had to change your name. Huh? How many sock accounts do you have, dude? This is puppet mm. master over here. Are you still reading quests? I'm reading. You know, you do your move <laughs> while I read quests. No, okay? I'm we're gonna play the game properly. Pick a quest. I am reading. <sighs> I'm going to take this one. I'm going to take the party one just to piss you off. It doesn't piss me off at all. Screw you. Okay. <laughs> I would like two fighters. Uno. That wasn't the best one. Dose. That wasn't hmm. the best one at all. Sir Chester, it is your turn. Thank you, sir. You need some uh, fighters, some guys in your hall there. I do. Guys. I do. I do. You need and, some uh, guys. I'm going to take the lieutenant over here. I'm going to come over here. Booster, choose an orange or purple as you like, sir. I will take this orange. Oh, someone's collecting the oranges. Bloody hell, most of your quits need orange. I see, I see. And it is now your turn, Booster. Please don't take seven years this time. <laughs> oh, you're such a prick. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <sighs> I will collect gold. Good job. Mm -hmm. I will complete a quest. Sweet. That quest shall be this one. Impersonate whatever that is. Noble. We need a convincing portrayal of a noble of that house for an Our important different. negotiation. Sure. And that requires two black. You get two entry cards. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at the points. That's a good one, dude. Yeah, that's that a, is a good killer one. one. Did you get your points yet? A wizard? I did not. I'll it's take eighteen care of it. points if you would. Oof. A wizard and two and job. That's cool. Two fighters. Come here, fighters. You said it was eighteen, right? And my two. Yep. And my Go. two. Go two behind booster. I'm falling behind again, as usual. Did it give me two intrigues? Yeah, it did. I didn't have many. Okay. And now I need to put that card in my right. stack. What do I got to do here? I got to do something. Um, well, I got to do this then. This is what I got to do. I got to do it. I got to do it. I got to do it. <laughs> I don't want to do it, but I got to do it. <laughs> What's so funny? Ooh, oh, no. confront the Xenathar. Ooh, dude. Uh, no, I'm definitely taking that one. I don't even need to look at the rest of them. Ooh. Xenathar, you are coming home to me, sir. Ooh, that's uh, and nasty. I get an entry card, of course. Go ahead, Booster. 
I will build a thing. For four points, I will build this one. Which so, is what? Ooh, that gives you quite a lot of stuff when you land on it, sir. And free victory points for me, please. Please, sir. Hmm. That was a good play. Go ahead. Did you move your guy three points? Yeah, you did. Okay. Yeah, you did. My turn. Yeah. All right. Now, <laughs> how much of a dick do I want to be? Um, Boost, what do you yes. got over here? You have 10 <laughs> and 0 at the start of each round. Take that. Blah, 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 blah. How close are you to completing that? You need two whites to complete that. Yes. And you need two whites to complete that. So you're not close to completing those at all. Uh, where it's Chester. Do? Chester needs a lot of oranges. Chester does need a lot of oranges. But those are easy to get. Those aren't that hard to get. Well, comparatively. For me, hmm. particularly because of this quest card. Yes. So, what kind of points can he score? Four, 11, and none. Okay. So, Booster, you're about to get it in the butt. Oh, uh, no. no. Oh, my butt. <laughs> oh, no. I have another mandatory Leave quest. Out of this. And Mr. Booster oh, is going to be forced to do it. Oh, you frickin'. Aw. <laughs> Aw. That's pretty sad. Chris to an opponent. Uh, oh, that's not so bad. Your turn. It's not a terrible one, but it keeps you from being able to really score points. My turn? Only get two. That's nothing. Uh, to be honest, I wasn't planning on doing these quests. Uh-oh. Someone's well, about no, to get uh, I'm coming over here to the harbor, and uh, I'm going to uh, uh, take and play this entry card, which I'm giving to Booster as well. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you bullying me? That's funny. All right, done. Oh, you, oh, you <laughs> absolutely all parts. In the lead. That's what you get for being in the lead. It's true. You must complete <laughs> both of those. Now, this is the way it works. Uh, because his was first, you have to do his first and then mine. You can't do it in either order. You have to do his, <laughs> then mine. <laughs> he has no whites at all. <laughs> I know, dude. I will, I will have to go around town and gather up the whites. <laughs> you better go find all the whites. <laughs> but, <laughs> all right. Is it my turn? <laughs> you guys are right. your turn. <laughs> I'm going to gather up some whites and some blacks at the same time. Oh, no. Racial harmony achieved. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you done, Booster? I am. I'm. That's my turn. Yes. Okay. I have a question about this card since I don't know how it works. Sure. I'm just going to read what it says. It says, "Discard a building under your control that currently has no people assigned to it. Then choose one building in the hall and put it in play under your control at no cost. Replace that building afterwards. So even though he just built a building, can I still do that?" Um, let me see the card. Let me look at it. Here. Boop. Discard a building under your control. Okay. So what this is doing is, it's giving you a cheap purchase. It doesn't matter. He's there. You can, but you have to choose a card that you are on. It has to be one that you own. Discard a building under your control that you currently, that currently has no uh, meeple assigned to it. okay so one of the ones you built that has nobody on it you basically mm -hmm. throw it away and uh choose oh this was this one missing over here um and yeah. choose it to uh re you're just replacing it right right okay i'm not gonna play it i was just wondering all righty i am going to do however is i need some wizards you're a wizard harry Yo, wizard. And I shall take said wizard. Right. Okay. Booster. Your turn. Oh, my turn. Sorry, uh -oh. sorry, sorry. Uh, that's right. Yes, Don't want to skip myself. That would be bad. Uh, let's see. What do I want to do here? Well, I'd be fine with it. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to play uh -oh. another intrigue. Someone's about to get hit. Nope. Not at all. Oh, what am I doing? All right, let me drop this down. All it does is let me take one of my meeples back. Oh. And I'm going Ooh, to nasty. choose 
Um, really I'm going to take this one back. Go ahead, Booster. Oh, man. Well, I will call, I will do uh, this quest that Fondora gave me first, I believe. <laughs> yep, it is. Yep. You absolute prick. So that's one orange, one purple. Yeah, yeah, hooray. <laughs> <laughs> I just throw it back in the intrigue disc, discard, dude. Yes. Uh, and now it is my turn again. Yes. <clears throat> and for my turn, I shall play on my own and get this wizard. Ta-da! Chester? Hmm. Well, I know what I need to do. Can I do it, though? Hmm. All right. Let's just get to it. I've got to come over here. Oh, I can't go there. Oh, you're a bastard. Ooh, look at that reward. Damn. Harsh. Hmm. Well, I'm going to do this one here. So, Booster, you get an orange oh. or a black of your choice. I get uh, you. two orange. Collecting oranges. My God. Black. The racism. Mm -hmm. And two coin. Go ahead, Booster. Yeah, I skip. I can do nothing. All right. All right. Oh, I'm going to complete this quest. Sweet. Domesticate owl bears requires nice. one white. And, th and two wizards. It I love that quest, rewards though. me with eight points, a fighter, and two gold. And it says the city guard could use these reinforcements. Do they do tricks? Sweet. Dude. Share. That shall go here. This shall go here. What's your points? Eight. That shall go there. And the white. Ooh, you're in the, the lead white. by one. Nice. I get a fighter nice. and two gold. A fighter and one. No, cease these things immediately. Two. Did we just assume Ju Booster's gender, Beowulf? We did. Probably wrong. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now it is Chester's turn. Hmm. Well, Chester has a single meeple left, uh, and I could do other things, but I'm not. <clears throat> I'm going to do this. I'm going to come over here. I could go here and just steal uh, stuff oh, away white. from people. I could pick up. I don't need another quest, though. Um, I only need one. So Ooh, I, I would steal move. that white if I was you. I'm going yep. to. I'm going to go over here and I'll get that white. <laughs> Booster, I'm assuming <laughs> you're still passed. And mm -hmm. I am now passed. Okay. Uh, my turn here. So I'm going to play this mighty card. I'm going to confront the Xanathar. He is the Video beholder that uh, runs all the criminal activity. Uh, <laughs> and I get 20 points and two coins. So let me grab the coins He's first. He's the big boss. He is the big your boss. Points. He's a big From boss. 65 to 85. Let me put, put three of these back. I just take one of those fives, clean up the space a little bit. And, uh, oh, crap. I think I screwed myself out of a purple. I did. All right. And, I, of course, I got to pay for it. When so I, I got to put those. Uh, you know. I forgot about my um, plot quest. I was supposed to take an extra purple when I took a purple and an entry card. Can I take those? Um, yeah. Right. No, sure. If you forgot, it's fine. This is a friendly game. Yeah, right? I genuinely. And an entry card. I completely forgot I, I had. I don't that. think I did the purple. Did I do the purple? <laughs> Well, I don't remember. That's right. I'll do another one anyway, just you know, just in case. Uh, if someone sort of me put one in the chat, just let me know. But uh, I think I didn't, so that's all right. <clears throat> all right, booster passes. I pass again. Three, four, and you gave me my points, right? Yep. My twenty you have glorious eighty-five points. now. Sweet. You are right back in the game. All right, and I pass. Uh, so now we come to the harbor. Go ahead, dude. All right, what do I need? I, uh, you know what? I'm not going to worry about that yet. I am going to get me a. Uh, what's up? Wait, what's up there? Warfare, skullduggery. There is a commerce. I am going to reset all of these. Sweet. And get and get me a better one, hopefully. 
just gonna throw him willy nilly like Chester does. Yes, uh, it frustrates uh -oh. Chester. We must shuffle them. Oh no, some, you grabbed no, them all. Okay. I just was stupid. Yes. Don't misunderstand my stupidity. You guys did handle it. It's probably better. <laughs> all right. What do we got? Ugh. I don't think I like any of these either. Let's see. Okay, so reward 10, draw one building from the stack and put it into play under your control at no cost. Interesting. Uh, reward 4, put one building from the builder's hall into play under control at your no cost. Also interesting. Um, what do I even have? I have a purple and two fighters. Oh my. This is an interesting choice. I don't want these Skullduggery. I want one of these Commerce cards. Mm, which one should you take, I wonder? <clears throat> Remember, we only have one turn left. To, the easier to complete one. Because we only have one turn left. That's true. If I quit spinning it. Alright, my sure. turn. Uh, I'm going. My turn is very simple. I'm going to come over here and go to take one of these quests. And, um, hmm, no, that's a pain in the ass. Well, that's equally a pain in the ass. They're all a pain in the ass. All right, I'm going to have to take this <laughs> yeah. one, I guess. Uh, I'll do this one, I guess. All right. And my last one, well, <clears throat> I could go grab something, but I'm not. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to assure that I keep the ambassador. So, all right, uh, new round. Grab them all back. Ooh, last round, boys. Last round. Here we go. Things going to get serious. Things about so. to get serious. Super duper serious, lads. Friendships will be ruined. Yes, that, mm -hmm. harmed. That oh, yeah. happens. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's true. <laughs> well, Chester, your turn. It is. It is doubly my gotta... turn. I get to place the ambassador and I get to go first. Oh, oh, very sexful, very toyed. <clears throat> All right. So, this round is an important one. I need to catch up and win. Oh. That's what I need to do. Hmm. All right. So I should take my ambassador. Oh, I forgot. Hold on a second. I forgot to get my uh, entry card. All right. What does that say? Just let me check it real quick. Okay. Um, all right. Let me. Uh, where did I put that ambassador? Where did it go to? It's right there. Oh, that's your lieutenant. Where did you do it? Oh, you put him. Where did you put the ambassador? I don't know. It's weird. Ninja vanished. Where'd he go? <laughs> it's, somebody must have accidentally threw him off the table. Booster. We got He's sick of him having an ambassador. We went, yeah! Just throw him <laughs> off. Um, yeah, I don't know where he is. Oh, well. I'll just use one of these yellow, if you don't mind. That's fine. He, he All right, let vanished. me see. What do I want to do here? I got to play this smart. I need to... <clears throat> I got two rounds in a row here. Now, I could come over here buy a building, but I don't really need one. It's kind of late for that. Mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, I think... Hit me big. Just that, that, that. That's a big one. Hmm. Uh, I think I'm going to put this here for the entry card. And I'm going to take this one. It doesn't really matter, but, uh, you know. And then for my first move, I'm going to try to complete those. So, hmm, I guess I will come over here. Booster, choose an orange or black of your choice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I will take uh, two coin. Booster still has mandatory quests to complete. <laughs> I know he does. <laughs> just the one. Oh, you say just the one. <laughs> hey, go ahead, Booster. Oh. It's your turn, dude. All right. I will give myself two gold. And I will grab this quest. 
All right, my turn, yes? There's different ways to play this, but for now, I'm going to do this. I need... I need blacks and whites. So I shall gain blacks and whites. There you go, booster. Pick a black or a white. Thank you. One white. Two blacks. Oh, wow. You know, that's nice. Helping him out, huh? Well, I needed the blacks. Okay. I need all of the blacks. So you're done. <laughs> you're, you're done now? <clears throat> I am complete, yes. All right, I will do this. I'll play in the harbor. And uh, therefore, I will play this intrigue card over here. <clears throat> uh -oh. And Ooh, I will give the meeple to... Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Thundaro. And I will take two. You could choose any color you want. I will take two of my own colors. No, we, bo we both get two. We both get two. It says each opponent takes one. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, you're right. This one's a little different. Uh, all right, so I, I will take... Uh, what two do I want? Hmm. You can go ahead, Booster. All right. Uh, I will take a Meeple for Builder's Hall and buy this one. So I will have two extra points for me. Two points for Sir Booster. Gives him the lead. For now, anyway. For now, yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, my turn. Yeah. I am going to play this quest, and this quest is Defeat Uprising from Undermountain. It requires Ooh. one cleric, three fighters, a rogue, and two gold. The reward is 11 points and two fighters. Monsters nice. boil out of Undermountain to threaten the streets of Waterdeep. Sweet. All right. So I have to play all my fighters. One fighter. fighters my cleric and my rogue yes and one rogue yes yes okay hmm. and i get <clears throat> give me my 11 oh i gotta get 11 what am i on 92 so i get a hundred and three so now you can pick a 100 version of this Yes. So what are you red sashes? Yeah. Hmm. Let's see here. Well. <clears> hmm. <throat> uh, you're done, right? I am. I'm going to play in the harbor again. I'm going to play this intrigue card. Oh, and actually, I'm sorry. I get two extra points too because that was a warfare card. Oh yeah. Remember, <clears throat> you got to remember that stuff, yeah. Oh, you uh, take your token and put it on top of that, by the way. Oh, what do you do with uh, my token? Yeah, there, there you go. Like that, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Beautiful. Now, uh, I played this Intrigue, and it allows me to play on any place an opponent has played already uh, to basically take advantage of that. And, uh, hmm, I think I will play on Thondaros and take a white and two black. Uh, I don't know oh. if that works, but I, I, you know, why not? Uh, booster, take a white or a black of your choice. Yeah, I don't see why it wouldn't work. That's what it says, yeah. right? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Right. Go ahead, I booster. Yeah, Chester, Chester has got some <laughs> quests. So if you have um, completed quests that count against you at the end, or? Nope. Nope. Okay. Hmm. One second, I'm having big brain, big brain time. Well, have you finished that mandatory quest yet? Not yet. I'll, <laughs> I'll get to it. I'll get to it. I'm collecting things. I'll, don't worry, boys. I have a big brain plan. He oh, does boy. have a big brain plan. All right, then. Mm -hmm. You'll see. You'll see. You'll you won't see. mock me. Then you won't mock me anymore. Oh, no, we're definitely still going to mock you. That's... Uh -huh. Yeah, well, that's definitely you just need to <laughs> <laughs> You'll all see. You'll all see. Are you done yet, sir? I'm done. All right. It is my turn. It is your turn. I'm like, and gone. that means my poor friend, Mr. Chester, is going to receive a mandatory quest. Oh. Okay. All righty then. All right. All right. Be it's like actually that. not a terrible one. Be but like it's going to sway out a little bit. 
So now it's your turn. I have to placate angry merchants, bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Send them all to heck. Uh, which means I have to do that, though. See, that does force my hand a little bit. <clears throat> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I do have a white, but I could use more whites. A who white? Here, I'll give you a white. Play it right here. Right yeah, here. Uh-huh. I'm right going to play it over here. So, booster. Uh, you me. get uh, an orange. <clears throat> I get two orange, of course. A one and a two. And uh, one of any color I want, and I shall take the white. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, booster. All right. I will place it here and gather two more oranges. That makes it my turn. It does. And there is nowhere to play to play this utility card. That's a shame. Or this entry card. Oh, well. I need a white. Now, the free white is open. I don't need another quest right now. So we will take the free white. There you go. Free whites. Always in, always in favor of them. Free <laughs> whites, everybody. Are you done? I am. Uh, my turn. <clears throat> I will come over here, yep. and I, I wish there were more in it, but uh, uh, since there isn't, I don't want to give you anything. I'll just come over to this one over here. <laughs> I couldn't do anything with it anyway. It's an entry card. And I shall take the purple. Did you take your purple? Oh, wait. Yeah, you didn't put it off this one. Dirt. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, Booster. I would like to complete my mandatory quest. <laughs> <laughs> How many points did you give you? Four. Not bad, I though. Four points for, for not too much of a thing, so it's not the there worst. Oh, thank you. I gave you, I gave you your points, sir. Oh, My you're turn. very so nice. Landaro? Nice. I'm such a nice guy. All right, now, what do I need? I need a Phytor. The only place I can get a Phytor from is from Booster, it looks mm-hmm. like. And Booster gets victory points for that one. That's a nice one. Yep. Two yep, victory points for you, Booster. I get a fight oh, and two gold. Uh, did you put the points on yet? Or? Not yet. No. Go ahead. Yeah. Sweet. There you well, are. to that 100. All right. Well, my turn here. Let me see. Which one do I have to do this mandatory one? So let's just get it out of the way. All right, and this oh, one requires uh, one white, orange, and purple. So I have to take one of my orange over to here. One of my purple over to here. And one of my white. And I get four points for that, I think. You do. I shall take it. One, two, three, four. Yay. Go ahead, Booster. I would like to complete another quest. You should. Go right ahead. This one. Establish Ooh, Harper's nice. safe house. The Harpers need a safe haven from which to launch the campaign against the darkness. Ooh. That's a very nice one. Two of these. Booster gets eight points. Yeah. Plus. I don't have a coin for that. Ah! <laughs> <crap and fuck. laughs> ah! Well, that would have been a great play. <laughs> <laughs> So you're done then? Oh no, he has no whites either. He is done, done. Oh. I guess I'm done. Get oh you, no! Done. Oh, there goes the potential. What was that going to be? 18 points. Oh, that's, that's a, a shame. I am going to complete. I am going to complete this quest right here. Uh, I've got to go kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> Lure artisans of mirror bar. This one right the shield here. dwarves of mirror bar are skilled b- builders. Requires one white. One Phytor and one Rogue. Yeah. And uh, one of these buildings comes under your control. Did you get your yes, four I points get to yet? Take... I did not. Now, do I get the victory points on top of this one? Do I get those two if I take it? Because it's one of it says one of the ones in the Builder's Hall. Yep. Which is That's this. That's the way yeah. it would work. Absolutely. Yep. So we're going to take this, put it over here. And I get three victory points as well. Okay. Three more points, please. 
One, a two, and a three. I screwed that up a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I can't have half points. Where am I? <laughs> You're sitting right there on that uh, uh, on tw uh, uh, 12. <clears throat> 112. Okay. All right, so you're oh, done? I'll put it on top. I am done for now, yes. Hmm. Let me see here. What do I want to finish first? Well, obviously, okay. I need to do this one. So. <clears throat> need them points. There's 11. 11 points, please. Then you have 89. That takes you to 100. It does. And four gold. Not that that matters much anymore. Well, I guess it still gives you points at the end. And uh, that is three and a black and a purple. Okay, so purple. Oh, I didn't. I didn't put my card in my thing. A black and uh, one. Booster, can you do anything? Or are you done for the game? Nope, I'm done. Oh, I I'm am finished. done. So. I am passed for now I'm... until we get to the harbor. Oh, you are okay. So <clears throat> you gave me my points for that, right? <clears throat> awesome. Yep. Let me see. You had a, you got the um, eleven, right? Eleven. Points. Yeah, I did. Uh, let me see. I can't do okay. that. I can't do that. Oh, I, no, I can only do this one. Oh, I can't do that until after. So yeah, I'm done. Go ahead. You're first at the harbor. Oh, no, I'm first at the harbor. All right. So uh, yep. let's see if I can do anything to actually help me. Um, <clears throat> That didn't help at all. I made that much worse. What am I doing? Uh, Touching stuff. <clears throat> I don't know whose this is. Someone put it here. Who's this is? Whose space is this? Oh, that's mine. I just didn't put a thing on it. Here. All right. Well, get yourself coming, two victory coming, points, sir. Because Thank I'm you, sir. I'm going to use it. Um, uh, let me see here. Uh, this allows me to uh, use a space that's already been used, and I need purple. Uh, so Purple. I'm gonna come over here. Oh, and... Don't mind if I just move this guy over here. So don't touch coin. stuff. No touching. <laughs> Stop touching. Coins. I don't want my purple or oranges anymore. <laughs> you picked the wrong. Kid you picked the wrong one, one, didn't you, Booster? I will take I this one. The Booster's I on. <clears throat> I will take. I uh, yeah, I'm sorry, Booster. You're, you're done, dude. Uh, so <laughs> I will take that purple and two orange. I do apologize. Chester is Chester is trying to catch me to win this game. I am trying. Mm. He needs Thundaro, 15 points. I am... Oh, no. You go next. You're the next one. You get the harbor next, and then I go last. Oh, that's right. So I just did that uh, by playing on that card. I gave you two victory points, right? Which was which was painful, but yep. I did it. Yep. Then, um, my, tur um, my turn, I'm going to finish a quest. Now, we can do this last turn, by the way. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I mean, obviously. Uh, I'm going to finish... Uh, <laughs> Or do I want to wait? Let me see if I can do anything. Can this I'm gonna, I have to think about it. Let me just do this just to just in case. I'm not thinking so clearly, but I'm going to take those two black. Go ahead, Thunder. All right. I really can't do much of anything. So what I'm going to do is just take the old gold. I can't play this back in the harbor, right, to play a utility card. Hey, you know, if I could card. just like move this one over here. Yeah. I could just. I can get a few coins, you know? No, no. you can't. I could trade up my two oranges and a purple? I could, do, I could do that, maybe. Yeah, I think all I can really do is just move. take the four oh, gold for the, for the extra points. All right. Are you done? I am done, done. And, and you can't play anything, right? You nope. can't finish any quest, right? Nope. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. <clears throat> I'm going to finish the quest I can finish. So this one right here. Uh, this one gives me four points. And it is uh, trained blade singers. Blade singers combine weapon mastery with magic in a deadly fighting style known as the blade song. Uh, it takes uh, three, uh, three orange or three fighters and one mage. But of course I get uh, those back and I get four points. So let me just do two. Okay, <clears throat> make sure I did that right, and I get that back anyway. Yep. Right. I gave yep. you your points. Oh, you did. Thank you very much. Uh, then I'm going to complete um, this one here. 
For 10 points. For 10 points. Uh, it's a plot quest. ties you with me. And uh, You're now gives, tied. And it, I have to pay that. It doesn't give me anything else. Uh, whenever you take an action that provides any coin, also take... Uh, okay, that doesn't matter now. Yeah. So let me see. I have yeah. to pay that. <clears throat> and that's uh, four and one. All right, so... Four blacks, one wizard. Yep. Now, how come wizards get called wizards, but blacks get called blacks? Huh? huh? They're rogues. <laughs> hmm. Because I can't see the color purple, so I just call them oh, wizards. Really? I, don't know I don't see color. It's not that I don't bad really. a movie. I have, I'm very, I'm very, <laughs> I have very poor color color vision. Although it is appropriate to the ongoing humor, I would say. All right, mm. now I need mm. to do something about my gold everywhere. This is what we do. All right, now uh, we are done. That's the end of the game. So all unfinished quests, just put them back over here in the uh, in the quest pile. I finished my quest like a good boy. Yeah. Okay. Prick. <laughs> we right. both gave him mandatory quests, so we couldn't right. finish. Then, <laughs> then uh, do me a favor and take all your oh. quests. Um, and mm -hmm. that are all your plot quests, and just put them on top of the other quests. Just uh, so we have everything together. Okay. Then, what we're going to do is this. So, so you gave me those points for my last one, right? Yep, you're, we're tied. All right, so just now it comes down to how well we played. Um, so now this is what you do. Every uh, adventurer you have in your tavern gives you a point. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So I get five points. Oh, you have uh, you have six. Do I? Or seven? You have two clerics as well. Yep. Oh, I've, oh. so every they say all the guys we have left here. Yep, you get points for them. I got seven. Okay, so I get those. So twenty-four. One, so two, one one point for each. Five, six, seven. You have one point for each. That's right. Okay. Or twenty-one. Yeah. Duh. And I have one, just one. <laughs> Just one lone wizard. Okay. Uh, then take all your gold and count it up and divide it by two. Oh, boy. Okay. What if I'm at one? Then you get Does nothing. Does it round it up or down? Well, you get nothing. Yeah. No. Oh. oh, my God. I have so much just disparate gold just stacked everywhere. Yep, okay. Yep. So I, just, I take one of those. Oh my right, so 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So 10 extra points. Same as me. Come here, you. Oh, we're staying fairly even, you and me. 25. Mm. It'll decide who completed more of the right quests. That's right. Now, if we haven't done already, we would reveal our lord. So I'll go first. Uh, my lord is uh, Durnin the Wanderer. A retired adventurer, Durnan owns the Yawning Portal, a tavern that stands above an entrance to Undermountain. And at the end of the game, I get four extra points for each commerce quest and warfare I got. So, um, go ahead oh my and God, tell us about your so lore, please. Quests. <laughs> I am Larissa Nethel. At the end of the game, you score six for each building you control. Oh, Where is she? Nice. I can't see her. Right, right here in the middle. Because I can show it to everybody. Oh, known for her extravagant two, court three, parties and her ability four, to blend in. Five. Wow, Booster just got thirty points. Wow. At the end of the game, you Good job, six Booster. Points for you. Wow. Okay, thirty points for you, Booster. And when he got there, Thundara. He has. So he's at one forty. I have Semezra Sulfantis. At the end of the game, you score four for each Arcana and Commerce quest you have completed. All right. And I have, let's see. You and I have some we... counting to do. Mm -hmm. Arcana, that's a warfare. That can just go One, over here. That's a piety. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven. So eight times four. Ooh. 
Oh, I got to think in my head. That'd be 24. That would be 30. <laughs> That'd be 32, I think. Is that right? Is it Ooh. 32 points? That is that right. Be... Yep. Well, right. 8 times 2 is Chester is 16. Double that when it's times 4 is 32. Th thank you. I was being facetious. You do realize that, right? I, I didn't realize that. I, I get 24 bad. points. There I am. And I get 18 points for that quest I could have completed. Wow. <laughs> so I have, what, 49 from 25? Uh, I don't win, even if I was at 58. <laughs> All right. <sighs> so I have 163 points. Uh, I have 149. Has 149 points, and Booster has 130, 140 points. So pretty close, fairly close, but <clears throat> I win. Ah, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Pretty close, but I'm the winner. Booster actually made a huge comeback with his his lore there because he was getting smoked. Yeah, 30, <laughs> he just shot that was up really there. Nice. I mean, if I uh, actually played on this instead of the, I don't know why the hell I went here, but if I went on here like I was meant to, got that one extra coin, I'd be 18 points ahead of where I am now, and I would be here. Well, this mm. game's fun. I like it, it is a lot of fun, but oh, of course, oh. uh, we just spent one, two, two and a half hours playing that game, which is a lot longer <laughs> than I've ever played any one of these games, dude. Um, that is oh, super long, but it was fun. And yeah, I, I, I lost some of my energy along the way. <laughs> but, I feel like I use it all, all my voice. Well, it's because. My it's because you guys don't know it, uh, and uh, playing with the computer, it actually slows it down because your hands are mm. much quicker than your mouse, right? Because uh, you know mm. when you're playing with people and know this game, you can get this done in an hour, you know, or yeah. less, yeah. you know, because everyone's just boom, boom, boom. They have their plan, right? But uh, I love this game, beautiful game, so tight, so clean. It's got a, it's just dripping with theme, dude, right? Dripping. It is, dude. Hey, we have uh, Manny's cousin in here, and he says aloha. Aloha. And, and Perth says, what game is this? What game this be? This is Lords of Waterdeep, dude. A very awesome board a, game. The title of the stream, you silly bastard. It look is. at Look at Booster trying to act like he won something. Get out of here. I, I made one little mistake. I'm clearly here. <laughs> no, you're not. That's not how it works. <laughs> Absolutely. I beat you from Nara. Incorrect. So Get this booster. out of here. Incorrect. <clears throat> What'd you think, man? <laughs> I liked the part where I was winning, and now I didn't. That was a very short part of the game. It's a shame. <laughs> I don't know. I had you. <laughs> I had you by ooh thirty points, dude. I know what I think. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was a good table flip, though. This thing flips well. Huh? It does um, flip well. The bit oh man. Well. Sweet. Uh, Beowulf said, to be fair, Booster makes everything slower. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. All right, guys. Well, we've been on way longer than we normally do. Uh, but we appreciate you for hanging out and staying with us. And uh, let us know, what do you think about these uh, board games? What do you think about this board game? Uh, I mean, it, it, if I were going to give you a list of suggested board games to have in your at home for your family to sit and play... This is one of them. Uh, Lords of Waterdeep. Very clean, very smooth, lots of fun, lots of theme. I um, mean, Thunder, you had a good time, right? Oh, yeah, it was fun. It's really fun. Mm -hmm. I think it would go a lot faster now that we, well, at least I know what I'm doing. It's true. Yeah. It <laughs> what, what, whatever do you mean? I, booster, I love you. That's what I mean. <laughs> lots of love for the booster. <laughs> all right well let's end this stream guys uh thank you very much and like i said please leave some comments down below and let us know what you think about this series uh that we're doing with tabletop simulator do you like it or not you know let us know what you think i know for us yeah, it's, it's, a ton of fun. <laughs> well, you know. it's definitely fun when you're playing i don't know how fun this kind of game is to watch well there'd be a easy way for some people to have more fun Join 20 us. bucks on steam for tabletop yeah. simulator and it is definitely Absolutely. worth it it's a lot of fun yeah yeah with the expansion you could great. do six players on that game too yep. mm -hmm. it's a it's just a great game to own tabletop simulator if you got steam and you should only own one game at least have tabletop simulator yeah, yeah. 1995 or something like it's, that it's especially yeah. if you're a fan of board games you have no excuse 
And Not if you it. have it, you can come play with us too. And you can make mm-hmm. fun of Booster as well. Yeah, but don't, <laughs> don't do that. Right. No, definitely do that. That is no. something we should do. Uh, Booster, that which, my feelings. We, we usually have Booster <laughs> do it, but I think since we have Thundara here, we'll let him do it. Could you please give us the words of wisdom that Denali usually does when he takes us out? <laughs> I can. The words of wisdom are, Booster is terrible at all games. Don't be like Booster. But try to be as positive as possible because your perception shapes your reality. So make it a good one. Namaste. Namaste. Prick. (laughs) 